Jewellery Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalised offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewellerymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewellery Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewellery Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewellery maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Our Jewellery Maker community is a fantastic platform to share, learn, chat and make new friends. So why not like our Facebook page and join over 64,000 like-minded people? You can now book Jewellery Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewellery Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the book now button. Fill in the required fields and then press continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hello, welcome back. I am Lara Delu, and this is the lady I like to call De Bruges. Good also evening. a really nice shade of lipstick. Thanks. It's Deb Rudge. <laughs> Deb Rudge, of course it is. Hello, darling. How are you? Hello. I'm really good, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen you in ages. I know. Gonna it's have been, to have a good old on. chat. I know. Without you laughing at me. I know. <laughs> Keep a straight face. Now, um, we've got something amazing today. Now, we are in the run-up to Christmas, so we've got a little bit of a frosty theme for one of the kits. And I am going to ask if we can have a sneaky peek, actually, straight away at the jewellery that's been made, because I think you're going to absolutely adore it. This is coming up at 8 o'clock. 7 o'clock! So I'm, I'm losing time here. 7 o'clock! Of course it's 7 o'clock. <laughs> it's not 7 o'clock now. It isn't. It's in the next hour. Mm -hmm. 
I was thinking it was eight. There we are. So seven <laughs> in the seven o'clock hour, this is coming up, and you've got this this wonderful frosted, almost like a Jack Frost kind of effect. Also, there's a very well known second film. Yes, there is. Yeah, which is is obviously available to watch in cinemas at the moment, which you might be inspired by, and you might have some daughters or granddaughters or nieces, or you yourself might be very much in love with that, because I think this kind of theme would be perfect for anyone who loves that particular film. And I've got some special treats coming up, including this. This is coming up at eight o'clock. Have you seen how many Gorgeous appetite nuggets I've got mm. here, and I'm hiding some of them as well. There you go. What if I said that, considering this is an unusual, it's a rare, it's a sought after gemstone, it's got a deep saturation, and it's not easy to get a hold of. What if I were to tell you that all of these on this strand, we're going under 10 pounds. It's no. happening. It's actually happening. It is going to go under £10. Now, I haven't actually discussed with Ross if we're going to open pre-orders on them. I'm assuming he's going to say no. Right, so it's definitely not in this sale, but maybe at 7. So at 7 o'clock, he's thinking he may. May, 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 may. Maybe. May give you an hour to get a hold of it early. It is going to be brilliant, though, so make sure you're getting on the phones early for that one. And I need to show you this. I, need to, I know this is coming up a lot later on, but I'm in love with this. Ooh. That's very nice. This is at nine o'clock, and isn't it one of the most beautiful, beautiful strands of tanzanite you've ever seen? Mm. Look at the depth of the colour. Look at the sparkle color. that you're getting. Yeah. Look at the twinkle that you're getting on every single one of those. I'm in love with it. I'm absolutely in love with it. Mm. Do you know, I still can't find my lovely... tanzanite engagement ring <gasps> since we moved house. Oh, no. I have no idea It's where either it is. somewhere very, very safe. I'm pretty convinced that I did put it somewhere safe, but my fear is we've got rid of a lot of stuff and it might have fallen into a box or a bag that may well have gone to a charity shop. Eek. Somebody would be very, very happy with it, I've got to say, but I would, I, yeah, so fingers crossed. But Tanzanite is one of my all time favorite gemstones. Mm. So to actually see a strand like this, and I will say now, this is a lot nicer than my Tanzanite ring. Or should I say, from what I can remember, my Tanzanite ring looking <laughs> like? Because oh. <laughs> it's been so long. But aren't they? Aren't they're, they gorgeous? They're a, it's a beautiful, even colour as well mm. through the strands. So yeah, really the nice. fact that they're really well matched means whatever you're going to make out of them is going to look really high end because it's going to be well matched as For well. For me, it's a depth of colour as well. Because I mean, that, oh, the colour's amazing, it's, in, yeah. it's so intense, it's bordering yeah. towards, if you want to look at the grading of it, I'd say coming up towards a triple A. It's a really beautiful colour. Mm. It is really intense as well, yeah. I, yeah. I love it, it's absolutely lovely. love it. Mm. Just thinking when the, the and, and people might be going, well, that's like the Tanzanite engagement ring, you shouldn't take it off. But I took it off because it was a high one mm. with a little one mm. when she was really little. You yeah. couldn't get your hand under her without catching the stone. So, never mind. But that, actually, the price on that one is phenomenal. I do have bad news on that one, unfortunately. There's not a huge amount. Talking about not a huge amount, this first hour is Miss It, Miss Out. Last of stock. So, everything in this hour is very, very limited. So, if you do want something, it's better to get it home, decide you don't like it, and then send it back than to miss out on it. So, we are going to bring you loads of different things in this hour. We're probably going to move through quite quickly because they are low on stock, including my star buys as well. So I apologise for that. Now, did you say 20 or 23? Ooh. I'm shaking my box at you. Way too quickly. Yes. Well, you've got to be quick in this hour. That's why. Oh, that's true. I think I've missed it. Miss it, miss out. So I've got a five pack Very here nice. of your silver plated base metal. It's got cubic zirconia in the center and they are a strand bridge. Ooh, three holes. I'm just thinking now. 
Would it be too... Yeah. The design that you've got with the crackle quartz, mm. is the quartz too big to use with something like this? Or could you... Let me mix that. Let's see. Um, what I would probably do is use... Would you go for the, the small The bicones mm -hmm. and then miss the central hole. Oh, so you'd, you'd so just, just use the two. two. Okay. Mm. Cool. Yeah. So there's option of that. Oh, pearls. Perfect. Think of yeah. pearls. It's £2.95 for a pack of five. Brilliant opportunity. Gorgeous, gorgeous design. Great with bracelets, great with your chokers as well. Yeah. Look nice with yep. chokers. Really nice. Do you say 69 pence each? 59. Okay, so it works out at 59 pence each. So it's not, it's not sort of, it's not going to break the bank. It's a gorgeous look. If you wanted to buy them and then sell them on at a higher cost to other people who are yep. wanting to make jewellery themselves, that's entirely up to you. Or if you want to turn it into something exquisite, the thing that I love about this particular design is the fact you've got that, the, the way it's almost in a, is it called a gypsy like setting? A, it's bezel set, but it's so... It's like a channel set. Yes, but it's so deeply yeah. set. Yeah. It's yeah, beautiful. Yeah, it looks like it, the... the um, it, the, the metal's actually coming over the top. Yes, and yeah, so it's, it's all completely it. flat, yeah. Yeah. which is lovely. What was the next one, sorry? Ooh. Hello. Mm. Big, bold and beautiful. Big chocolatey tones to it. Caramel <laughs> tones in there as well. We had an amber weekend, didn't we? <laughs> My goodness, that was yesterday. Oh, bless you. Bless you, yeah. lovely. Everyone's sneezing at the moment. Everyone's snuffly. Let's let's hope everyone's not going to be ill. I know. Yeah. It seems to be going round at the moment, doesn't it? It always is, isn't it? So always. these, big, bold, and beautiful. Separate them out if you want to. It's 440 carats of cappuccino coloured puffy agate. I love the fact you've actually got the strand going through it, which has been knotted, or should I say, the cord going through it, which has been knotted. Could you get away with making it? You could actually, I think. I've got a cocktail Just ring that about, big. I think, yeah. You'd have I to have raise well. it, wouldn't you? Yeah. You'd have to raise it. So yeah, what would you do with this? You could. It would make a, an amazing bangle, mm. wouldn't it? A really chunky bangle. Yeah. Would look fab. Um, lots of wire work in copper, I think. I was going to say, one. would you wire work with mm. it? Yeah. Yeah. It's got a fantastic effect on each one because they're all completely unique, aren't they? And that even here, if you're looking at the screenshot you're seeing now, it's very different to the one that I've got on my oh, hand. That one's got a lion's face yes. on it. Yeah. It's like that. Is it the lionfish? Is it called it or the yes, zebrafish? Yes, it is. It there, is the lionfish. There is a lionfish, yeah. The one with all the spikes and mm. it's all those. Yeah, that's the kind of thing it reminds me of. Yeah. Lots of interest on this one already. £4.95. Um, I'm going to leave... Oh, there's two, four, six, mm. there's eight on a strand. It works out at 61 pence each. They'd be good for tassel tops for long line necklaces or just yes. um, doing what you've got there, but with longer lengths of thread in between and knotting. Mm. So you can make a longer necklace um, and just choose colours of thread to work with the gemstone. Mm. I like the idea really of a tassel nice. top. Yeah. I do like the idea of that. I'm going to pull this one a bit closer as well. Right, let's bring to you this one. Sticking with big, not quite as big as the previous one. Ooh, nice shape on these. Yeah. It's like a little twist. Oh, it does. Yeah. It does, it does. So you've really got these rectangles, which do have... I'll have to show you by turning it that way. Can you see how they're a little bit almost higgledy-piggledy? Yeah. Because they've got a little bit of a curve to it. They're known as twisted rectangles, and they're 25 by 18 mil. It's 38 centimetre strand, and they are one of the loveliest varieties of quartz. Rose quartz, always been very, very popular, especially if you're wanting to gift to a friend because it's the, mm. it's the stone of true friendship and also the stone of true love as well. So you've got these beautiful soft pinks. You've got a gorgeous sheen over the surface. You've got a great little bit of curvature to give a bit of personality to it. And again, there's so many things you can do with something like this, isn't there? A little bit of a curvature on the wrist, maybe, mm. to go along with the movement of the wrist. 
earrings. Yeah. Because you've got the movement there, you'll see that twist on there really well. I'm liking the idea of pop popping them with sterling silver, I think. Mmm. I know it's, it would make it quite cold, but... It works really well, actually, mm. because it seems to amplify the pink okay. colour. But when you put them with um, a yellow gold, they look lovely as well mm. because it's a nice, it sort of makes it richer. Yeah. So, yeah, either of those. I think the, the different metal that you pop it with does make it either warmer or mm. colder. They are going to sell out, I'm afraid. There's loads in for that one, which is brilliant. They're really I mean, nice. They are very popular anyway, aren't they? Now, next. Where, 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 where? Where, 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 where? On the tea bar. There yeah. it is. Oh, it's here in front of me, right directly in front of me. Uh, this is one of my star. Is it coming up now? Okay, am I right in thinking this is the one with six in? Ah, okay, you know, I was right on that one. Really sorry about this. Mm. First of all, just forget what I've just said about the quantity, because that's enough to make you cry. Um, but have a look, have a look right now. What can you see on your screen? What's the one thing that's really blaringly obvious? It's the fire. Uh-huh. Mm. It is one of the greatest, greatest gemstones for fire. Um, it's, it's got fire like a diamond, but actually, because it's doubly refractive, whereas a diamond is singly refractive, you're going to see so much more fire, so much more of that dispersion, so much more brilliance. And I've seen a lot of blue zircon. I've seen a lot of blue zircon. I've seen a radiated mm. blue zircon. I've seen heat treated blue zircon. Um, I've seen big pieces. I've seen small pieces. When I say big pieces, they're not massive because you don't normally get them very big anyway. But these are substantially sized and the fire is instant. Sometimes you have to squint and twist it in the light to see. No, you literally, all you need to do is look at this and just hold it in the light and you will see such an amazing, amazing amount of fire coming out of this particular strand. It's just magical. There are only six. It's my star buy, so I apologize in advance that there is only six of them. Um, it's definitely mm. worth getting your hands on. It's just so beautiful. I've not been able to take my eyes off it. Every time I look over there, it's mm. just... It's one of the best examples I've ever seen of a blue zircon it's beautiful. with the fire. Mm, it's it's, it's beautiful. magical. So that's coming up a little bit later on. Um, next up, I'm gonna bring you a bit of a selection of stones. Cause some people like to have the choice of choosing, be oh hello, that's a nice one. Mm -hmm. Choosing between the stones and don't necessarily want to have to buy a strand each time. So this is a great opportunity for anybody who does want to push the boundaries. Is that a bit of K2? Looks like it. Yeah. No! It is. Yeah. Oh my life. <laughs> Sorry. Nice. The first thing I'll say about this particular strand is you will want to sit and just look at every single one of these. Look. Ocean Jasper. Is that oh my goodness. Okay, so could that possibly be a Botswana? Yeah. Doesn't it look like a Botswana? Maybe some chrysoprase there. Oh my life, this is an amazing strand. Ah! Oh, I'm loving this. Ooh, that's Sorry, nice. I'm just getting a little bit carried away now. Ooh, maybe it looks a little bit Peter sighted. It does, doesn't it? Amethyst there. It is last of stock. Please, mm. please, please just forgive me for not talking too much about it, but I'm really fascinated, Dendrite. I think so, yeah. I saw that Snowflake one. obsidian? Yep. There are so many different... Oh! What you got there? That is either... And it's, is it iolite? It's either iolite. It's probably more than likely iolite to be... Yeah, I'd say iolite. I was going to say or tanzanite, but that's... Mm, the I depth think, of the colour there is, I'd yeah, say, iolite, I think it's yeah. Iolite. But you're not getting the yellow. Oh. You normally have three different... No, no, it's, yeah, it's iolite. You get the yellow one. It's tricky, isn't it's it, different... when it's all threaded up that tightly yeah. to actually twist. Nice. These you know, are amazing. It's like getting a bead scoop, except it's better because it's all been pre graduated for you. Yes. Awesome. Look, look 
of this Labradorite. So it's translucent. You've got the little inclusions in there oh, that makes it nice. look speckled. And then you've got the most amazing, oh, I love it. Oh, sorry, I'm getting rather excited about this strand. £14.95. If there is no, oh, look, look. What you found now? Oh, that looks like an opal. It does, doesn't it? Yep. Oh my goodness, sorry, I am getting a little bit carried away by this, but you just get it because you can sit down <laughs> for ages. If you're a gem collector and you want to start just practicing yeah. identifying gemstones, this is a fantastic opportunity. If you want to push the boundaries and work with stones you've not necessarily worked with before, I mean, who on earth has got a chance to work with K2 yeah. without buying a strand of K2? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's, it's just incredible to think what you actually have on this strand. There's chalcedony on there. There's um, carnelian on there. They are brilliant. So hold those lines. I can't guarantee what you're going to get on the strand, but I can guarantee you'll have great fun figuring it out. Because I would. Yeah, it would be like a cup of tea, big socks and pyjamas on, and then just a board. Spend, yeah, -da! spend your time looking at that. That would be amazing. Yeah. That's for one of those, those winter evenings yeah, where there's nothing on cold TV out. and yeah. you don't want to do anything. Oh, is that sold out? It's gone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, they are a last of stock on this now, so it's miss it, miss out. I do apologise if you do miss out. Um, the next one. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> like a kid in a sweetie oh. shop. Yeah, see? Nice. See? Like a kid in a sweetie shop. Oh, I've missed you. Oh, I haven't seen you in one? ages. I know, I've missed you as well. Here we go. Dog. Oh, which one's my favourite, though? All of them. It's Botswana Agate, but not just Botswana Agate. Massive, huge, enormous tumbles of Botswana Agate. I like that one. Them. That's the one I like. Were you going to say that was your I favourite? I was, yes. Oh, we'll have to fight over yes. it then. Yes, right, handbags at dawn. Oh. No, that one, I'll have that one. All right, you have that one, I'll yeah. have this one. Okay. Yeah, I can deal with that. Because it's almost share. on this one. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost like um, Ocean Jasper, isn't it? Yeah. You've almost almost got, like, the coral... Yeah. Fossil. Yeah, yeah. Nice. The fossil coral fossil effect, coral, yes, yeah. you do. I, that was just me putting random words together in the wrong order there, wasn't it? That's absolutely fine. You knew That's what, what I, I do on a daily basis. <laughs> <laughs> I attempt to make sentences and it doesn't quite yeah, work. Often it's just random. Yeah, but at least I understood what you meant. <laughs> now, I have got a handful of these. Like I said, everything is miss it, miss out. Everything is last of stock. So, £28.95. Can we squeeze that a bit? Can we then squeeze it? <laughs> so, not just squeeze, but squeeze. There. £9.95. We would Ooh. like every single one of these to find a new home. That's it. That's what we would like to do. That's amazing. We don't want any of these to be left in the building. And remember, wow. a gemstone's for life, not for Christmas. It is. Yeah, it is. So treasure it. Love it. That's why I can't give any of mine away. That's the problem, isn't it? <laughs> that's, that's the same as me. Yeah, I need a house just, just for, for my your gemstones. gemstones. I like yeah. it. I like These it. These are lovely. What about a doll's house for your gemstones? Ooh, I tell you, oh, sorry? What about a doll's house for your gemstones? But then I'd need room for the doll's house. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> okay, carry I on. I need more space. These with the um, rose quartz <gasps> yes. rectangles. Would yes, look yes, yes, yes. Where did I pop those? There they are. Rose quartz has sold out. So I'd definitely be get, getting these and combining them with the rose quartz. If I've got they the rose are quartz, really nice, that's aren't they? Beautiful. Very nice. I, I'm looking at your uh, kit again. Steady. <laughs> and I am thinking these two would go very nicely with your kit. Yeah, they um, would. The Botswana has sold out now, I'm afraid. What shall I bring to you next? Ooh. There's so many choices. Oh, are you wanting to pick? Ooh, number 15. Can we do 15? Oh, okay. thanks, Ross. Okay, so I've got to bring you this one first. And we'll bring you this one. Now, I have got here. Oh, that's impressive. Something very, very impressive. And it's, it's not just because of the stone that it is, it's the location. So nine, about 90% 
probably a little bit more, of the world's rubies actually come from Myanmar or Burma, they're sourced there. Um, and one of the main locations to source the rubies is Mogok. To be able to bring you, I mean, when, when do we ever bring you Mogok mm -hmm. rubies? We, we don't, do we? We just don't. So we launched this a few months back. On Black Friday, we took it to a ridiculous ridiculous price and we took it to basically an outlet price the lowest price that we could possibly take it to everything was squeezed off that i've got the last five chances so we are honoring that black friday deal the price on the screen is not the price by the way 87.95 i would have put that down as being the price considering the fact it's five carats so not just ruby but Ooh. mogok ruby <laughs> Yay. Not only that, it's natural. There's no treatment to this whatsoever. When most rubies, no, nope, no treatment. Um, most rubies are fissure filled. Most rubies have got some um, either it's normally glass or resin that mm. coats the surface of the stone to sort of reduce the look, reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to look at it like that in a beauty sense of it, it reduces fine lines and wrinkles. It's probably the equivalent of a Botox for the ruby world, <laughs> yes. but it's not. This is completely and utterly natural. This is what every single ruby would want to be. Clear of lines, wow. clear of wrinkles, clear of anything. Well done, my lovelies. That's really impressive then. I want to be that ruby. Yeah. I want to be that ruby. Um, so well done if you managed to get a hold of yeah. that. Now, I've got something big, bold and beautiful requested by Ooh. the gorgeous Debs. I'm getting caught to myself. Oh, no. I know. The black spot. Yeah. That is incredible. Look at this. Oh, look. Are you fondling it already? I am. I'm sorry. Five seconds I'll in stop. and already she's fondling it. I just love this. Peach Jasper and... Um, you know, we had a while ago, it must have been in the summer, those um, three, there were three massive, massive rondelles, um, all different types of jasper. Yeah. Um, I just want this to go with them because I bought all of those. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good, a good enough reason for me. And this, I absolutely love the colours, the patterns, everything yep. about it, the size. 18 millimetre round. Sorry, you're not going to be able right. to no, speak. I've, I've noticed, but that's Sorry. absolutely fine. I'm the too thing excited is, about this one. This is it. £14.95. Mm. It is all about those colours. They're very sort of animal-based colours as well, aren't they? Mm. They are a bit, but I, actually they're quite floral as well. Because if you look at those two mm -hmm. there, they're ah. just like very pink, very feminine, very pastel -y. And then you've got some in there that are a lot more sort of um, urban, if you like. It's gone. Love them. Mm, I love these as well. They remind me of a certain, I can't ever remember what type of painting it is, but it reminds me of a certain movement of painting where it was really thick. Like abstract um, expressionism. Quite possibly that one, yes. You see all the brush marks. Yeah, and, yeah, 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 yeah. There we are. See, I didn't even know that. There we go. Thank you very much. Let's something new. <laughs> you are welcome. Now, Oh, do not forget, I do have the blue zircon coming up. There is a, quite a few questioning about this, and rightly so as well. There are, yes, I know, I'm sorry, there are only six of these remaining in the world. It's coming up in two auctions time. No, there are no pre-orders on it, purely because <laughs> it is six remaining in the building, and that is it. So if you are wanting it, two more auctions, I promise you two more auctions. I will reel him in if he tries to go further than two more auctions, because I know what he's like. <laughs> I know exactly what he's like. I remember last time it was, in five minutes we'll do it, 15 minutes later we were still not there. So, like a bit of peridot? Mm-hmm. Would you like a lot of peridot? There is a lot on there. Yeah, there really, 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 and really is. You don't realise until you take, your, take them all off the strand how many there are because they're packed on solid. Yeah, the, the thing is, if you look at them, they're actually quite a nice size yeah. sideways. But if you actually open them out, they are so much bigger than you yeah. think. When you've flat to them. So you can yeah. use them flat if you want to. You can actually use them stacked as they are there, but you can see there just how many are crammed on. 
there's loads. Mm. There's masses and masses and masses and masses and masses of them. Um, and actually, it's one of those strands that if you wanted to go halves with a friend, although at £9.95, you probably would, would you? want to have one <laughs> on your own. Yeah. yeah. But if you went halves with your friend, that's still a substantial amount left for you. Yeah, it is. You look at those two, if I just split that in half, that's still a huge quantity. You could still quite easily make a suite of jewellery out of just half of this. And these are a really nice, this shape, if you do your um, like seed bead embroidery mm. to pop in some genuine gemstone as nice. well. Ten pounds, you really cannot well. go wrong with that. And look at the depth of the colour. There is yeah. so much richness to this particular colour. This is um, Chinese peridot, and from the look of it, it's probably from the Chiang Mai province province it because it's got that kind of look and kind of yeah. feel to it i mean i can't guarantee that for sure but it's got that kind of almost electricity to the actual color of the green itself it is very Beautiful. vibrant yeah it really is hold those lines my darlings mm. now i've got one more before my star buy which again is going to be peridot keep trying to think of a joke about peridot and it's just not not <laughs> happening Oh yeah, Peridot, Perilow. I haven't said that in a long time. We're going Perilow <laughs> on Peridot. Um, we are actually, believe it or not. Again, last chances to get your hands on this particular one. And, can, and once again, can you see the electric nature of this green? When we talk about saturation of colour and, and everything has like the perfect gamut point Ooh. for the colour base. Um, and for me, this electric green, anything that's sort of chromium based with greens hits that incredible intensity of saturation and colour and pop and it just, it works. It really yeah. works. And I've just seen the price point so that really yeah. gives me a headache. £5.95, <laughs> gone. Of course it's gone. Yeah, that's... The other thing that's going to go as well, I'm afraid, and I'm very, I am, I am apologising to you. I did not choose the quantity on this. It's literally what we have left in the building. Six chances remain for my star buy. It's one of the most incredible blue zircon you are ever going to see. It's coming up now. So zircon is, for me, very, very, very important gemstone. It's a really important gemstone because it is the oldest gemstone known to man, which you probably already knew anyway. It has a whole sort of branch of science named after it, and it helped us to pinpoint the date of our planet. That is not something that you have on your CV every day, is it? I mean, what gemstone can go, actually... No. Scientists thought the planet was so old and I came along and went, no, them wrong. actually, <laughs> you are wrong. It's not that. Um, it was only point billion or point couple of billion out, but still, this, this gemstone gave us the grounding of knowing how old our planet is, which means we can then figure out how old the dinosaurs are, how long we've been on the planet. And it's so impressive to think that a gemstone like this has seen all of those transitions. Mm. It's seen civilizations grow up and then move on or dissipate. It's seen the Romans, it's seen the Greeks, it's seen all of those fantastic, fantastic locations and buildings and everything that's gone on throughout history. And it's just been there. And the other thing that I really love about this particular stone is the fact that it has so much dispersion. If you like diamonds because of the fire, and when we're talking about fire, we're talking about that rainbow effect that mm -hmm. you see. If you love diamonds because of that, then you are gonna absolutely love this. Diamonds are singly refractive, which just basically means when the light goes into the gemstone, it, it bends it. And that bending splits it. And because the splitting, it splits it into the spectral hue, and that's what comes out. So light is made of all different colours. Zircon's doubly refractive, which means it one light goes in, one beam of light goes in, two, mm. it splits it twice. So clever. So you've got this amazing, amazing array of colour to the stone itself. You've got this fantastic display of, of fire. And I don't think the cameras are ever going to pick it up anywhere no. near as well as you are going to see it with your own eyes. 
Can I just point out the price on the screen for me is already, I was expecting it to be a lot higher than that, let's put it that way, and that is not your final price. There are six chances remaining. That's all I have left in the building. That is it. Down to five now. And everyone who comes in is going to pay just £39.95 each. That's a £20 saving. Ooh. For look of diamond. In fact, you know what? I'd choose this over a diamond. Do you know, I think I would as mm. well. Unless it was like the most expensive diamond I could ever imagine. No, but think about because, this at the moment. There are so many synthetic diamonds coming out. True. There's a big push to, to buy synthetic diamonds for, for whatever reason. So to have this yeah. is just that little bit. Yeah. Um, it's just amazing. Liz, yeah. hello, my darling. Insane price. Woohoo! <laughs> It is, it mm. is, and this is it. It's last it of stock. I, again, I apologise for how few I've got available. Um, you're basically getting yourself a 33% saving on this one from the original price point, which is redonkulous. It is redonkulous. And I would not be surprised if everybody who hopped on the phone line or popped it in the basket right now are actually collectors. Yeah, yeah, it's that sort of gemstone. It's, it's fascinating because of the the sort of dating but then it's so beautiful as well mm. so it really really is sorry i'm just stroking it you are can i just say it has sold out so congratulations if you've managed to get a hold of it i'm sorry i just i just, it I just need a, a moment stroke. i just need a moment <laughs> would, you, would you like to I'm trying not to because I won't be able to have it. No, you can't. It's gone. So. <laughs> um, now in my next out, you're going to look pretty, at the though. Mm. Been looking at those as well. Again, there's low quantity on this <gasps> one. I'm really sorry. I'm really, really sorry. Oh, the colours are just. Can I just say I do not perfection. control how many we have in any of the auctions. All I can do is tell you. Um, is this in this hour as well? It is a star buy at the end of the hour, and yes. Yeah, all right, okay, yeah. Yeah, it's, it is ridiculously limited. I'm not moving. I'm just going to sit and look at this for the rest of the... <laughs> They're gorgeous. They're absolutely gorgeous. They are really pretty colours. Hold those like... Oh, hello! What you found? Um, did you know the term hello, which is a term of, like, salutation, isn't it? Yes. The original, t the original use of the, the word hello was as surprise. So if you go, oh, hello, that's the original way of using it. Yeah, because oh. it was it, um, when the phone was invented and they picked up the phone and heard the voice coming out of the other side, they went, oh, hello. <laughs> so hello then became a greeting rather than, what on earth going on? <laughs> <laughs> but there we are. Sorry, just a random little fact all you've thrown random. in there for, for no reason at all. But there we are. I'm just, I'm just proud of the fact that I use it in the right... <laughs> it's the only yeah. word I'm probably using in the right context. Oh, hello. And so, What's this then? What is this indeed? Right. Um, you're just being cruel, Ross. You're just you're being cruel. So he's just pointing out pretty much hammering it home to me just how limited these are. It's like we're in single figures on these already. It's been launched at the beginning of this month. We originally had 200 of these um, and they they sold so well, which is why we're now down to single figures. I've got every single one of those single figures in here. <laughs> 20 carats of tanzanite and it's so nice. I've actually got quite a bit of tanzanite in this showcase today. It's not every day these days that we see tanzanite. No. A couple of years ago, we would see tanzanite Every single shift, yeah. every single day. And we had hours of tanzanite, yes. didn't we? Yeah, we had because we had the ability, yeah. we had the, the contacts to get the, 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 um, the stone. We had the ability to buy large quantities of mm. it. Now, those, those have now gone. Some of the mines, because it's not just one mine, it's one location, but there are a few mines. Some of those mines have closed down. Mm. Some of those mines have depleted, or as far as they know, have depleted the source that is there. And also there have been various laws put into place as well. And, and in some cases, operations have been shut down because of, of people attempting to smuggle it. There's yeah. various different things and factors that have come into, into play. The thing is, we've got some for you now. <laughs> we actually have some for you now. And it is one of those stones that I've been in this industry now for around about, I think, seven or eight years thereabouts. 
and from the beginning of me coming into this industry and people going on about how limited Tanzanite is, to go, kind of becoming a little, a little bit haphazard with it and blase because you think, oh, cool, no, it's, gonna, it's fine, it'll be another 1050, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Yeah. Seven years down the line, we are not seeing. That's what, sorry? Oh, he's apologising, that's not your price. That is not your price. £29.95 <laughs> is not your price for 20 carats of Tanzanite. He's matching the original launch price at £24.95. Again, but this is it. We are seeing less and less Tanzanite. We don't know how much longer we're going to get Tanzanite out of the ground. We don't know what the situation is with the mines anymore. And so it's, for me, get it when you can get it. Because tomorrow it might not yeah. be there. There's ne never Just any like guarantees. Ring. Oh, <laughs> I'm so mortified <laughs> by that. Um, no, but it's, it's, there is no guarantees. And Tanzanite, I think, is one of those stones that definitely hammers that point home because within a very short space of time, seven years is not a massive amount of time in, in the, the big grand scheme of things. Um, Sarah says, got these, they're fantastic. They are, they really, yeah. really are. And I know people who collect Tanzanite just for the sake of collecting Tanzanite because, again, we do not know how much longer we've got left. There's all been all these guesstimates, and, and I've been a bit out of the loop, actually, with knowing what's going on, but we've not seen Tanzanite of these kind of sizes and quantities because we did have 200 of them, remember? We don't mm. today, but we did have 200. To be able to get that kind of a quantity is fabulous. And that's why we've got it so low as well. The more we can buy, the more we can give you in, in, in a discount, can't we? Because the better the deal we can yeah. get. And we can share that saving with you. This that's is going to actually sell out. Well, we knew that was going to happen, didn't we? <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. And talking of Tanzanite, I've got a little bit more. I have got a little bit of a selection of Tanzanite coming up today. Oh, Love the shape nice. of these. Aren't they brilliant? Look at slices. Mm -hmm. mm. The bit I love about tanzanite is the fact that you look at tanzanite's blue and you instantly know it's tanzanite. You do, yeah. It's, it's really sapphire. distinctive. Yeah, it really mm. is. Because you've got um, the pleochrism, or should I say trichrism. If it's not heated, if it's mm -hmm. a natural tanzanite, generally you, you get tri trichrism, um, normally pleochrism if it's been heated. So you get this almost a purpley blue. In one direction you look at it, it'll look more purple, and in another direction you look at it, it'll look more blue. And that's the beauty of a tanzanite. Sapphires, yeah, gorgeous. Sapphires are absolutely gorgeous, but they never will have that ability to see the, no. the, the trichrism or the pleochrism. And this strand, look at the price. 10 carats of tanzanite, graduated plain ovals, flat ovals, five by three to eight by six millimeters. It's a six centimeter strand. And it's just a case of get on the phone lines, get it as quickly as you can, pop it in your basket and check it out. Oh, what would you do with it? I'd just keep it as, a, as it is. I'd probably make it into flowers. Oh. Because you would see then the, the bigger flat surface. Yeah. If you twist it so that the then petal shapes going oh. round. So it, it would, visually, it would look like a, probably, I don't know, 20 carats of tanzanite yeah. instead of 10. Oh, I like your brain. So, yeah. That'd Hold those lines, my darlings. Hold those lines, check your baskets out if you can. Now, oh, another gorgeous blue stone, but very, very different. Oh, that's gorgeous color. Very parabery. It is. Mm. It's not paraba, by the way. <laughs> can you imagine the price? Oof. I think I'd cry. Mm. I'd absolutely cry. Especially if, the, if it was the original source of Parabra as well. Yeah, yeah. So, a lot of people, designers, jewellery makers, jewellery buyers, gemstone buyers, want this stone because of the connection with Parabra. And I say connection, it's the colour. It's the intensity and the beauty of a colour. Now, a Parabra is a tourmaline, which is originally found in Parabra in Brazil. And it was a very, very limited supply. And so, as Deb has just quite kindly pointed out, price-wise, it would be astronomical. But the colour was so distinct and so dramatic and so beautiful that we've been clamouring for a stone that looks yeah. like it. And this 
is the only one that really does match it. Now, paraben already has its copper bearing, so that's where it gets the glow from. This actually has a bit of a, almost, um, not quite a fluorescence, but it has a glow to it. It has the yeah. same kind of it glow. It has that energy about yeah. it, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah, it really, really does. It's got this beautiful, beautiful quality. And I don't know any other stone, not even, I mean, Florence has got a gorgeous color. It has, not even that but it's matches not, it. No. No, it's that particular hue of blue. Yes. Yeah. Mm. It's magical in every single way. And it's, um, it, it almost phosph phosphoresces. Mm. Because it does have a, a bit of phosphorus to it, so mm. it has that ability for it to really, well, glow. Yeah, amplify the light, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, it looks ma it's yeah. magical. Fourteen. If that were Paraba, it wouldn't be fourteen pounds ninety-five. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> now, next up, oh, what's supposed to be in number twelve? Ah, got them. Mm. Yep, four mil. Dyed blue, agate rounds. Four mil? Really? How many have we got? Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do under five pounds on these ones, he says. Let's do under five pounds. Guess how many we got? <laughs> Ten. <laughs> Fastest fingers first. Fastest fingers first. It really is just as simple as that. There's 10 chances. It's under five pounds. It's a whole strand of dyed agate plain rounds, four mil. It's a great stash builder and it's a great, great stocking stuffer price point. Price of some but coffees. I don't drink coffee, so I'd, I'd be happy spending it all on this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Favourite size, four millimetre. So why is that your favourite size? Because you can do something delicate with it. Or you can add to it and use it and make something quite large and impactful as well. Mm. So it's like if you use one of these on um, a head pin as an earring, mm -hmm. it just looks really delicate. But make a beady bead yeah. out of 12 of them, something and like that. And shake it. And then, yeah. And then you've got a, yeah, a big shake earring. Pretty amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think if I had beady bead earrings, I would very much be doing that all the time. <laughs> um, do not forget, I ha still have my star by coming up at the end of the hour, which is this beautiful, beautiful sapphire. Oh. Mm. I really love those colours. Very feminine, aren't they? They are. Really feminine. Yeah, it's not like Sorry, I've whipped all, it out of shot already. That's my bad. I do apologise. Oh, what's in here? Is this Turkish dice ball? No way. Oh, I love this stone. Mm, I too. love this stone. So it's a it's Turkish dice ball, which I'm sure you probably have heard it of, as, as two different names it has been known as in the industry. Um, we're going to call it Turkish Dice Ball because that is actually what the stone is rather mm -hmm. than a trade name. And it's a magical stone. It colour changes. So it's a little bit like, I mean, you look, look straight. Ooh. Ooh. The beauty of this particular stone, so just like Alexandrite changes colour from green to red. You, you actually have something really, really remarkable with this because it tends to have almost three different colour changes, so you have it in normal lighting. So candescent lighting and you can put it in incandescent lighting, you'll see two very different colours mm. then. But then if you also put it in really, if you know like you, you, your torch on your phone, yeah. pop it under that and see mm. what kind of effect it has then because they're just slightly different. But the amount of people over the years who've sent me photos of their jewellery and you see, I mean, it's dramatic. Yeah. It can be quite, yeah. I mean, sometimes it can be quite subtle and sometimes it can be quite dramatic. It depends on the stone. But it is magical. It's magical to see. And every time you look at the stone, it's almost like it changes and it grows yeah. with you. Yeah, different you see, light yes. conditions. Yeah. And you get, so the, you get so many different light conditions mm. that affect it. And you almost get that many colours because... 
along along the pink and the green spectrum, but it it is magical. I really think that's is. the real word for it. Look at how green it looks there. Yeah. And if I tilt it, yeah. It's got more of a golden colour, hasn't yeah. it? That is just in the studio lighting, and that's literally just by tilting it. But imagine what it's going to be like when you get it out in the daylight. Yeah. In the summer. Imagine what it's going to be like when you get it in incandescent lighting, when you get it by candlelight, the kind mm. of glow that it's going to have there. Imagine what you could do with this and how you're going to wear it. Would you wear it as earrings? Would you wear it as a ring? Would you wear it as a bracelet? What would you do yeah. with it? And what would you want to make with this particular strand? Beautiful quality, just, and I'm saying just because I know it's going to be considered for some people, but in comparison to what I've seen this particular stone going for, it just 99.95 is amazing. Really amazing. Say that again, my love, me, sorry. Sorry, I'm getting carried away with the stone, so I just, I'm ignoring you. I'm not trying to be rude, I'm just distracted. <laughs> it's really easy to distract me when you put stones in front of me. <laughs> not, not just any old stones, but gemstones. Although I probably would get distracted by an old stone, to yeah, be fair. Yeah, I quite often do, yeah. So is my daughter, it's brilliant. She'll stop in the middle of nowhere and just yeah. walking along quite merrily. Next thing you know, she's bending down and picking pebbles up. Cool. So... This is, of course, amethyst. I think you can tell by the gorgeous purple hue. It's light amethyst. It's got kind of a feel of Rose de France about it, doesn't it? And that's where you have a really delicate saturation of, of purple, which creates almost a, almost a lavender effect, but very light, very subtle, very, very delicate, very feminine. And the thing I like about it it's the fact that when you've got them in these kind of shapes, these little cabs, some of them can be so clear mm. and others can have loads of personality and be a little bit more frosted. You're getting 10 in a pack for just £7.95. Oh, are you okay? you again, Emma. <laughs> oh, I didn't make it. No. Oh. It was a sneeze. It was a sneeze. Um, so £7.95 is the price for this one. You've got 10 of them in the pack, which means it's amazing value. It, it works out to, what is it? 80 pence each. It's brilliant, isn't it? If you wanted to buy these and then sell them on at, what, £1.20 a head, that wouldn't be... Uh, no, I think that'd be fair. It would be, wouldn't it? Yeah. I'm now thinking, and I know, I know this is <laughs> going to sound really silly, and I have mentioned it before, Fish tank? Yeah, or in um, a vase of flowers. You know, you get yes. like the pebbly things yes. that you can put in. Yes, that would be lovely. Or, or by candles. Very extravagant, yeah. Mm. Actually, Let's candles, go. yeah. Would It'd look nice. nice with the light as well. Yeah, with the flickering of the candlelight, it'd look really nice. So you have elegance with these. You have the ability. Ooh, see now, now I'm thinking of gluing them on the side of a, a glass candle holder. Oh yeah, because you'd get the light coming through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you had a clear glass Amplifying candle holder. It. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. it. If you're making mm -hmm. your own candles, why not add a couple, a couple of these around the outside of the glass? Yeah. That would look fantastic. It would. Right, believe it or not, it's already bought us right up to star by time. We've got huge quantity on this one. Huge masses. masses and masses. I mean, we've, we've got so many, you can have 20 each. If only. Yeah. Okay, so it is miss it, miss out this hour. So once again, I'm going to make um, apologies to you. Um, we have got more than the previous star buy, which was six. We've got 16. That's it. We've got, we've got 16 chances. That's all I have for you. I'm really, really sorry about that. And I know everyone's going to want one of these. 
Because look at this. Yeah. Even Debs is sulking. I know. I'm trying not to look because miss it, miss out, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of items have sold out in this hour, so they please have. do not miss out on this one. It's a gorgeous selection of sapphire. And if you look at it, how often do we get to see... First of all, how often do we get to see sapphire so delicately hued? Yeah. Yeah. How often do we get to see those gorgeous, delicate colours? Because in here you're getting beautiful pinks, you're getting white, you're getting very pale yellow. You're getting, oh look, almost a paparazzi sapphire colour. You're getting purples in there as well. You're getting some of the most beautiful and elegant shades and tones of sapphire in one strand. 50 pounds is not your price. Let's go under 20, baby. Ooh, really? Yeah, That's... why not? It's Christmas. It is, Come really? On. Yeah. Final 16 chances. Final few, everyone pays that final low price. So if you came in at £59.95, it is not the price you are going to be paying. Nope, it's £19.95. You've got one PMP for the whole of the day as well. It's just, it's so good. If you want to order for the first time, you never tried this before, great one to get involved in. Look at the quality of each and every single one of those sapphires. Look at the price point that you're paying. And then think about the fact that if you are new and it's the first order, you also get a gift from us. Oh, yeah. Two free strands of gemstones. Woohoo! Yeah. Don't know what they're going to be. I have no idea what they're going to be, but you might get tanzanite. You might get opal. Who knows? You get two strands for free and also you get a DVD as well. So if you're panicking about the fact that you've never even attempted to do any kind of jewellery making at all, full stop, the end, that DVD <laughs> is going to help you no end because it's going to give you all the information you could possibly want to get started. So join in, easy to shop as well. One number to dial, 0800 644 655, or if you prefer the website, it's all the W's jewellerymaker.com. Or like a lot of us here like... We like to be happy. <laughs> we like to be very, very happy and tap the app. So there is that option as well if you go to um, your store on your smartphone and download that, search for JM, you'll get it. It's, it's brilliant. So what was that? We got, is that it now? Right, well, apparently that's brought us to the end of the first <laughs> hour. That's gone like a sneeze, that, hasn't it? Or several sneezes. Um, <laughs> don't go now. anywhere. <laughs> She's going for another one. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this little break with the kit and more incredible, amazing deals as well. So we'll see you right after this. like more information on up and coming shows you can view the program guide on our website the jewelry maker wall of fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer each week one lucky entrant will win hundred pounds credited to their account and the runner-up receives 50 pounds if you want to enter your design just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU. And make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. 
If you're already an experienced jewellery maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know that if you go to jewellerymaker.com and sign up to our mailing list, then you'll receive 10% off your first order with us. We'll also keep you updated with special offers, themed shows, program guides and Jewellery Maker tutorials. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Join us this Wednesday on Jewelry Maker for the gem setting day. We have got the most stunning deal of the day for you, Ethiopian nuggets. As well as that, we're gonna be bringing to you the deluxe gem setting toolkit so that you can create unique pieces. We also have for you yellow sapphire, aquamarine, pink amethyst, and a selection of pearls and everything to suit your gem setting needs. As well as that, we've also going to be joined by the incredible Hayley Kruger and the wonderful Fleur Hastings. So join us at Jewelry Maker this Wednesday for Gem Setting Day. Hello. <laughs> First hour went very quickly, didn't it? It did. Like a tube gone, <laughs> or a couple of tubes in fairness. I think it was three in total. Was it three, wasn't it, Emma? Yeah. Yeah, three. three, three in total, three tubes, and it was yeah. gone. Um, so, question is, what we got in store for you in this hour? <laughs> um, we. I'm going to actually show you what's coming up at eight o'clock because Ross did promise, didn't he? At seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. Well, he didn't really promise. He kind of said, well, maybe. Oh yeah, it was, yeah. I might open up a pre-order. It was actually, yes. Have you decided you're going to open a pre-order on the Appetite now or are we still doing a... Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's so reluctant. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> we'll go on then. Um, so yeah, apparently he is going to go on then and he is going to put a pre-order on it. So you are getting a huge, huge, huge... Oh, look at the colour. Oh. That colour is Ooh. absolutely intense. It's amazing. Now, you've actually seen this strand before a few months back, but it did sell out. We've managed to get oh. it back in stock. And I am guaranteeing you that it is going to go under £10. And it is on pre-order as of... <laughs> From now. It's on pre-order from now, so if you would like to get your hands on it, now is a great opportunity to do it. Now, we reordered these because of how popular they were, um, and then we asked for a big quantity because of how popular they were. Uh, in fairness, it's a huge quantity in comparison to the quantities I had last hour. But we only have 100 of them, that's all we were able to source. So we're going to put all 100 of them into the auction. So at least, you know, you can get more than one if you want to. So the first one's gone on pre-order. Wow, speedy Straight away. fingers. That's why I say fastest fingers first. Very speedy I think we should fingers. start off our late show with finger exercises. <gasps> Do you? Yeah. Yeah, because if you think about it, if you're dialing the number, unless you go for the speed dial, if you're going to the website, if you're tapping your app, you've got to get your fingers in gear, haven't you? So if we start the show... Do it clockwise and anti-clockwise. This is where everything's going to crack now, isn't it? And click and... Yeah. My thumbs haven't been working very well either today. Yes, dear. <laughs> Okay, since we put it on pre-order, five of them have gone, so clearly you've already done your hand exercises. Yeah. Um, my star by this hour, I think you're going to love oh, it. Oh, Ross. This is oh, obsidian. I didn't know we had this strand. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Um, I also have been requested to show you this. Is that because we're low on stock on this one as well? Oh, they're nice. Aren't they? Have I done something wrong? Is he alright? He's just Where gone silent. He? 
Oh, he's gone out. He's left oh, the room. Oh, that's why. <laughs> I thought I'd thinking, upset him for a I moment there. I can't even then. see him in there. No. What's happened? You made him panic then for a little yeah. bit. <laughs> um, I, I thought I'd offended you or something then. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just ran away. I said, gone. Um, how many of these do we have in stock? Are these limited or do we... Okay, so... Okay, so we have 30... Doesn't it make sense to do these as the star by then? Oh no, now Lara's broken. <laughs> of course they're the star by, they're on the star by sheet and everything. It does, uh, obviously it does make more sense to, to yeah. do them as star by. Yeah, no, there is you no question. Right. <laughs> We've got 30 right. of the obsidian basically, which doesn't make sense to do it as a star by. We have got these um, connectors, these silver connectors, which we have got... 60 of them so again it makes sense more sense to do these as a star buy oh dear i tell you what we'll do the silver obsidian after the kit and then we'll do the bar connectors at the end because there's more of those available do you know what it's been a long day already <laughs> it's not over yet it's not over yet it's not over it's right oh it's a kit time it is kit time it's gone very quickly that's actually so, three sneezes away and we're back to the kit. <laughs> so, you may or may not be aware of a very well-known sequel to a very well-known musical, which has a bit of a frosty feel to it. Um, and sometimes you might think of just letting it go. Oh. We've got a frosty theme <laughs> to today's um, kit, and it is absolutely magical, especially if you are a big fan of said sequel or original. Or you just want to let it go. Um, but you don't shake your head at me. Are you not? No. No. I couldn't bear it. For those no. of you who are Sorry. unable to get it, like the lovely Debs. No, I got it. Oh, but and Emma's not got it yet. I don't like, I just didn't like it. Leah's not got it. I loved it. Did you? Yeah. Well, I didn't. I wasn't as impressed the first time I watched it, and then my daughter watched it and loved it, uh, and now I have to love it. Yeah. Because I've seen it so many times, there is no way of ever forgetting the songs. No. Or the characters. I was a bit like that with Star Wars. Were you? Mm. So I'm talking about Frozen, if you hadn't figured it out. Other films <laughs> are available, of course particularly with frosty themes. But if, if you do love it, and if you have got kids who love it, or if you've got family who love it, my daughter's obsessed with it at the moment. Um, it's, look at the designs mm. that we're getting there. It's such a gorgeous pattern. Or if you like the Snow Queen. Yeah. Or anything That's, magical or mysterious yeah, like it that. Is. Like the Snow Queen. Yeah, it's just winter wonderland, yeah. isn't it? Mm. Winter is such a magical time, and I think you've really captured that in the jewelry that you've made. I do love it when, thank you. I do love it when it snows or when it's mega, mega icy and frosty and all of the um, the ice just sort of melts onto the trees and then it refreezes and it looks like trees are glass or, yes. you know, the, the um, last winter we I had... gave you low, Yeah. <laughs> just wham <whammed laughs> everyone there. Anyway, um, the snow had started melting and then mm. refroze overnight and off the end of all the leaves, there were these great big drops, icicle drops. It was mm. amazing. And sometimes the temptation is to stay indoors and snuggle up and be warm. But actually, if you go out and just have a look, you can find so much inspiration. I particularly like it when um, spider webs are frozen. Oh, yeah. They look amazing. Yeah, they do. They look absolutely amazing. Yeah. And then um, it's also the crispness that you get yes. with the frost. When it's dry and bright. Yes. And, yeah. It's, it's it lovely. It's beautiful. You really have captured that perfectly in every single one of these. And I think the fact we've got the crackle quartz as part of the actual yeah. collection itself, again, is, is fabulous. So what you are actually going to get in this kit which I think is one of the most beautiful kits I've seen in ages. I love this combination. It's so simple, it's so elegant, but you will be getting 10 meters of your one mil silver plated round copper wire. And you are also gonna get 10 meters of 0.6 in your silver plated round copper wire. 
the perfect frosted effect, isn't it? I say frosted mm. effect, of course it's silver, so it's not a matte effect, but it's, it creates something really magical. Then, stone-wise, oops, sorry, we are looking at gorgeous 12 mil rounds. 38 centimetres of 12 mil rounds. And on top of that, you are also getting your bicones. And those bicones are 8 mil in size. So two great sizes, two great effects, very different. Because if you look at the bicones, look at how much more of a, a kind of a crackled effect you're getting within them because you're seeing through those facets. And then look at the smoothness and the brightness, actually, a lot more brightness mm. to the rounds themselves. They are magical. One holds the light beautifully. One has the frosted effect really, really, really well. Now, the price on your screen, can I just point out, is not your final price. So if you want to recreate a winter wonderland, if you want to have something that could really be a gorgeous gift for one of your loved ones at Christmas, or if you want to wear it and adorn yourself in it yourself, it's entirely up to you. It's such a beautiful combination. There's not a huge quantity of them. I'm sorry, but the price is going to be so good. Look how, how simple and how elegant they are. They are so stunning, aren't they? I, I really like earrings like that. Ooh. That's all right. That is all right, isn't it? <laughs> it's a little bit of all right. It is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it, 20 pounds, mm -hmm. grab it. Two strands of gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous crackle quartz, two spools of your wire and endless opportunities. Endless opportunities. The effect that you've got there is stunning. I wanted to make a reindeer. I don't know oh. why, but I'm thinking reindeer because those little spikes there like reminded the me of antlers. antlers. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you could, yeah. you could do it in the same way. Um, if you do a line drawing just of, um, uh, a reindeer. You could actually do just the head, maybe, oh. as well. Yeah, and nice. So draw it out on paper and then you've mm -hmm. got a pattern that you can trace round. So you just work it, the wire around the actual pattern, isn't that yeah. nice? Yeah, I like it. I like yeah. it. Um, so what would you like to demo for us, my darling? Okay, if we have a look at the snowflake um, and you can make that in... Um, if you make it in the one mil, which is what I use for the necklace, mm -hmm. obviously it's going to have a lot more strength about it if you're making so use that if you're making big um, snowflakes if you're going to make smaller ones use the 0.6 um, so you can just shrink it down and, and make mm. lots of little ones but you could make them for the christmas tree or hanging in the window or nice. something like that as well so um for this what i've actually done and it's like Something that is so rare, I've actually worked with the wire left on the reel. Oh. I never, never, ever do that because I get in such a mess. But oh. anyway, so I was quite impressed with myself there. Well done, my lovely. <laughs> right, so um, just start probably about, oh, what's that? That's probably about two inches from the end, 10 centimetre-ish. Doesn't matter because... Um, it's not a vital measurement. Just straighten that up a bit because it's going to annoy me otherwise. Right. So we've bent that at a right angle. And then what we need to do is start coming round um, and forming like each little arm of the snowflake. So um, pop your... What I've, I did for this one, because it's a bigger one, I've used my pliers as a measure. So right down at the end near the handles, sort of as far as you can go, I've popped that in against that right angled bend. And then with the bend, so the tail of the wire is pointing down towards the handle. And I'm just bending that out to, um, to start the first little arm of the snowflake so you come up and again I've used so pop your pliers back in right down at the end and I'm using again that um, 
point on the pliers there as a measure and bend a right angle out and come back in with your pliers and bend back. So now this section here needs to actually come all the way round and squash it flat against the previous section and then pliers in there and bend up and then out again. It's almost like when you make these, I did about three of them and then I looked and I thought it actually looks like um, a paper chain of little men. You know when you cut out um, paper chains out of layers of paper and then open it up. I'll show you in a second what I mean. It's almost like a little stick insect. Stick insect! <laughs> no, little stick man. That was the wrong word. Insect, not insects. I've never we can do stick insects if you like. Stick I mean, insects, paper chain. I mean, there's nothing I more think... festive than a stick insect, <laughs> is there really? I know. Yeah. Well, you know. Especially if the like... frost <laughs> defrosts and then refreezes on him. <laughs> on him, yeah. On his sticky little legs. <laughs> I love it when my brain substitutes a word. <laughs> It's like predictive text, isn't it? I know, yeah. It's like predictive text. It totally is like predictive text, yeah. <laughs> uh, so the um, section of wire coming up to the top here um, is smaller, this last little bit. Um, so what I did is I moved down the pliers. So just about a centimetre from the end. So you can choose whatever you want, really, what spacings you want. It's not majorly important. Make a nice loop on the end. Loop, there a it loop. is. <laughs> and then come back down the other side and you're just mirroring the, the stick insect. The stick insect. <laughs> Your little stick man. <laughs> oh, honestly. <laughs> we'll we'll do that that again. In have a you minute. have you been introduced to um, obviously hey right, hey Dougie is a, a kids programme. Brilliant, I love it. Have you been introduced to the stick song? No. Oh, the men. <laughs> <laughs> you will never get it out of your head, ever. Oh, is it like... Ever. Um, it's brilliant. What was that mummy shark thingy? Baby What's shark. It? Baby shark. Yes, no, that'll never get it out of your head. Like, is never it get... worse or... I think it's it's... One of those cartoons that the kids absolutely adore because it's brilliant for kids, but also there are little nods to, to adults. Oh, right, OK, so, so it keeps you of, entertained. Yeah. And it, yeah. It, it, they basically have a little, little bit of a rave going, stick, 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 stick. <laughs> Just watch it. It really does. It's brilliant. <laughs> it's brilliant. Other sticks are available. So look. Maybe I need to... Can you see? It looks... Hang on, if I put it that way. It looks like a little stick man. But he's, he's doing stick, a jump. Stick, 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 <laughs> stick. So, now what I'm going to do is pop the pliers back in. And again, it's right down at this end near the handles. And bend up the wire in a, a right angle. And then just repeat what we've done there. It looks like... I'm kind of trying to think of what they're called. The, 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 the giant... Land drawings in is it Nazca? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, I know what you mean. Um, That's an insect, no, isn't it? Not it's a like crop a, it's circle. an ant, isn't there's it? All, there's all sorts of different ones. There's about Hummingbird. three or four mm. of them. And when you look down from, mm. sp you can see them from space, yeah. can't you? Yeah. yeah. I think I think there's a spider, a hummingbird. Yes. And it's there definitely a, a bird. What are the others? A stick. My stick man. So there's my stick man chain. So you make a chain of stick man. That's brilliant. You see? A little stick man chain. Or stick insects if you want to do them. So once you've got um, six of those, what you need to do is then bring it round into um, your snowflake shape. Mm -hmm. And at this stage, they will pop open a bit because you've not fixed it. Um, so I need, actually, 
the final bend going in there. So I took the, do I? No, I don't need it. I've already got it. You don't need that one. Just wrap the wire around that initial tail. So I'm just going to do like um, almost like a little wrapped loop. Okay. But just bring it round nice and tight. And then I'm going to go around again just to make sure it's connected. There, and then I can trim that off. So now, what I'm going to do is use the 0.6 wire to just hold everything together. And also what I did at the top, which helped in terms of stabilizing the snowflake, was to just hold it here on the first sort of branches out and then spin the top round couple of times so that then holds that together there so you're recreating the exorcist <laughs> with your stick man oh no that's too scary for me yeah. I can't watch anything like that I'm a bit 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 bad with things like that so just gonna take some 0.6 so probably about a metre of that. And then what I did was just, this is probably the tricky section because it just wants to keep springing open. Could you use T-pins to Yeah, you could. You could um, but when I, I do this, it's just going to pull everything in okay. together anyway. So I'm going to pop that wire through there and then hold it and just wrap the 0 0.6. So hang on, hold those two sections together and wrap all the way round and then follow the one mil wire across to the next branch. So hold it in position and then wrap round. Follow the one mil along that baseline. Hold those in position. So this will then fix it into your snowflake. Cross and wrap round over to this one. Follow that one millimeter around at the base, round and then up to that final one. I think I did put an extra bit in, didn't I? No, I didn't. Hold it around and then up. And then what you need to do is come back. So now, if you want to, you can sort of zigzag over and fill in that centre section, and that was just completely random. So the other thing to finish it off is to then take your pliers and just bend these arms out so they're coming up at an angle, so away from the centre of your snowflake. All right, I'm thinking so that every snowflake is individual. Totally different, yeah. Completely unique. Yeah, which is quite useful, really, if you're making masses of these, because you yeah. don't have to get them all to match. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Very true. So we just go around and do that on all of them. And then all I did was, if I, I'll bring this one in and just show you. 
So the tail, the tail on the um, on the bit that we had originally. So if I bring that in, all I've done is to finish off that rather than just cut it away, because then you're going to end up with um, like a little section here that doesn't quite work. Brought that into the centre and then did, if I put my finger behind, just do a little really rat really. twirly spiral and bend that down flat so it then sits in the centre of the snowflake That's and just nice. gives it a little bit of dimension. Yeah. And then um, buy cones on your head pins and pop those into the the bottom of the snowflake so oh, really lovely. You, and it's um it's quite cool because you've then got the the points to hang it from as well if you yeah. wanted to use it on a tree or in front yeah. of the window or something oh they're really lovely i like the idea of popping it on the tree actually mm. be a really nice decoration yeah, it would it would thank you very much my you're darling. welcome thank you thank you um, now, that has already brought us up to a point of the star by, believe it or not, which is coming up right now. It is a magnificent stone, isn't it? I love it. What was it known as? The dragon stone? The fire stone? Yeah, dragon the stone. The dragon stone. It's, it's basically a type of glass, I suppose is the best way to describe mm. it, a natural formed glass, which has been created through volcanic activity. Mm. So what happens is, when a volcano erupts or when lava goes across certain surfaces, it will basically, it melts everything in its path. It's that hot. And when it moves away, when things start to cool, it super cools. And it cools to such an extent that a crisp, because of how quickly it cools, a crystal structure can't be formed. And that's what glass is. Uh -huh. it's, it's an amorphous form. So there's no actual structure to it. There's no, like with a diamond, it's got a mm. square lattice effect. It doesn't have anything like that. It has this, this wonderful amorphous nature and that's what helps to create these incredible, almost an optical illusion over the surface because you're getting areas where the light can just move across the surface. Think about fiber, op fiber optics. Yeah, where, where you've got the light travels down and then when it reaches the edge of mm -hmm. the surface, then it yep. sort of flares out, doesn't it, almost? So when you've got fibreglass all lying together, mm. you look at the way the light goes across it and it does replicate a tiger's eye. Yeah. So you can find that you have these man-made glass that create a tiger's eye effect. Well, this is a natural glass, which actually has something very similar, and you can see that there, can't you? Can you see yeah. the way it just the light moves across it? With golden obsidian and silver obsidian, it's one of those that you really need to get home and have a look yes. at and just admire how... For me, the fact that it, when you're at a distance, it looks like just a dark stone. Yes, it really does. And then you come up close and mm. it, it just... It, it is just magical when you look at it close up. It is a completely, completely magical stone. Now, I did say we're very limited on this one. We have 30 of these available. And at £14.95, they are going to end up selling out. I would love to add this to the kit that we've just seen because I think it's a great mm. contrast. I mean, you've got a wonderful optical effect. And doesn't it look, from a distance, it almost looks like onyx, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. It looks like black onyx. Yeah. And that's the beauty of this stone. It's got the look of, of a dark moody brooding mm -hmm. stone and then when you get up close it has that flash of life that yeah. comes across the surface and it's just it's breathtaking really breathtaking it is beautiful it's one of my favorite stones because of the fact that when you when you look at it it has that hidden mm. that, that's right. yeah but 
I prefer it to Labradorite. I do. Ooh, I controversial. Know. Controversial, yeah, I know. Controversial. Shall I leave the building now? Yes. <laughs> uh, yes, 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 yes. So but it's who's not as win flashy this year. or it, it is a lot more sort of restrained and I just love that. I, I just love the fact that it's, it's, just it's a night lot more. It's siren. Yeah. A siren yeah. of the night. And Labradorite's a lot more flashy and look at me. Yeah. Whereas this is, mm. yeah, mm. exactly. Now, a little bit later on, I have got at eight o'clock, I have got this beauty. Now, this has been seen a couple of months ago and we bought a huge quantity and it sold out. We've managed to source some more, nowhere near the quantity that we had originally. So we have about a hundred of these. Mm available they're coming up at eight o'clock we have got pre-orders open on them now if you want to pre-order and i did guarantee that it would go under 10 pounds almost 20 percent of the stock has already been allocated it's already gone <laughs> it's gone 20 percent. so the question is do you want to pre-order it now or do you want to risk it to later? Half an hour. Mm. Half an hour. Depends on how lucky you feel, I think. <laughs> it's coming really up. Lucky. What it's, was that it's... film? That's a Clint Eastwood film, isn't it? You're feeling lucky. Punk, yeah. Can't remember what it is though. No, I can't remember either. Um, that's going to bug me now. <laughs> Is it good, the Is bad, it? and the ugly? We think it's the good, the bad, and the ugly. Ooh! Oh! Uh-huh. Oh, uh -huh. I've not seen this before. It's beautiful, really beautiful. Where are my tweezers? Where are my tweezers? There they are. So, please let the camera pick it up. Please let the camera pick it up. Can you see the rainbow? You see the rainbow? Oh, to actually get a pearl to show that amount of colour in the nacre. Oh, yes, please. How many colours can you see? <laughs> it is a proper rainbow, isn't it? It Look. is, yeah. Isn't that absolutely stunning? So you're getting, it's basically a pendant, isn't it? So it's a rock pearl charm. It says charm, look at the size of it. I know. It's a pendant, it's huge. So you've got the loop at the top there so you can attach it if you want to as a charm, it's entirely up to you. Bag charm would be fantastic, great size for that. I would be wanting to make it into earrings or, or into a pendant as well, so there's, there's options there. But for me, it's that amazing nacre. Colours, the amount of colours that you get to see in this particular, I was going to say stone then, this particular pearl, it's just incredible. Size-wise, it's a great size as well, it isn't is. it? It is, yeah. 24 really by good. 17. And you've got a little sterling silver heart there as well. You can just see, beautifully set. Hold those lines, my darlings, on that one. Now, ne ooh, okay, so chains. You can never have enough chains, can you? Nope. It's always nice to have a variety of chains, and I don't just mean the same chain, but lots of. I mean, have a Figaro chain, have a have a curb chain, have a Belcher chain, mm. have a Rolo chain, have a snake chain, because different pendants really do call for different chains yeah. and different looks, whether it's because they're heavier in weight, so they need something yeah. a bit sturdier, or whether it's the elegance of the pendant, and it needs something a little bit more glam. Yeah. And this is a gorgeous one. This is a loose rope chain. Ah. So you've got that spiral effect. It almost looks a little bit like a Prince of Wales chain, doesn't it? Mm. But you've got this beautiful spiral effect. It's a lot softer, a lot more fluid as well than you would expect a, a rope chain to be, yeah. which is nice. Really like that. Yeah, it's mm. just, it's one of those... That would be great worn on its own. Yeah. But also would look fantastic with the right kind of pendant. Mm. And I am looking at your kit again and thinking, do you know, I, th I think it would really go with the crackle mm. quartz. Yeah. The yeah, white it crackle would, quartz. Because you've got all of that, 
that linear movement within mm. the chain, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. magical, absolutely magical. Um, the next thing I'm going to bring to you is another chain, a little bit different this time. Oh, of course, I've managed to get it all knotted up. I say I have, I haven't, <laughs> I picked it up like that. At least that's my excuse. Are you any good at unknotting? Yeah, normally. Oh, we nearly that. Nearly, nearly. So this chain actually has hearts on it. So you could separate this out if you wanted to and turn it into a bracelet. Come on. Oh, you could hang the pearl, the Brock pearl on that. Yes, because it's, it's got, got the heart, heart yeah, in the centre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would look beautiful. Mm. Done it. I've done it. Good work. <sighs> Sorry for the wait, but if you wanted to turn <laughs> this into a bracelet, just look at how pretty that would be. Just a simple, mm. elegant bracelet, just one on there. That would be magical, wouldn't it? That's really pretty. You could stack them if you wanted to. So here you actually have 50 centimetres in length. You will be getting two, four, five individual hearts. And if I show you the end there as well, if you just wanted to turn that into a necklace, just add your clasp to the end. You've got the two little jump rings there for using. I think get two of these if you can. Ten pounds, it's yeah, definitely doable. Definitely. Have one as a necklace and then, and then split the other one up so you've got earrings and a bracelet. Yeah. It's doable. At ten pounds for 50 centimetres, it's definitely doable. And what a gorgeous little gift that would make. Wouldn't it? Mm. Well, you'd... you'd if you wanted to, you know, you could make probably three individual pieces out of that. Mm. If you, oh, you could probably make more. If you mixed it in with some other chain or some gemstones, yeah. making bracelets, you could probably make four or five bracelets. Just out of the one? Yeah, with the mm. one and then use some gemstones in with it as well. Nice. Ooh, oh, that's pretty, isn't it? So this is a pre-made chain, so it's not got the, the loops at the end. This actually has the clasp already intact, so it is literally a case of getting it, making yourself a pendant and popping it on, or just giving it as a gift as well, because the kind of look that you're getting with this is, again, it's really mm. sweet, it's really magical. It's delicate enough to be worn on a daily basis, yet it's got a little hint of interest to it, because in between, the trace chain, we'll get some cubes. Cubes? Cubes. <laughs> I love that, because it just catches the light, doesn't mm. it? Gives you like that little flash of light every now and again you when you're breathing. You can see it twinkling, can't you? Yeah. Mm. Really lovely twinkle. Twinkle, twinkle, <laughs> little cube. <laughs> It has got a gorgeous twinkle to it though, doesn't it? Yeah, really And it, pretty. again, £9.95. You do not need to do anything with this at all for it to no. just be a great little gift for Christmas. And yes, it is looming. It is looming. Well, what, what day is it today? Is it the 9th, ninth, ninth. is it? The 9th? Mm-hmm. How many days is that to Christmas then? Two Sixteen? Um... Don't Everyone's know. going. I think it's sixteen. Ooh. fifteen days, four hours. I'm counting the four hours as a day. Bah. Fifteen days, four hours, and how many minutes? Twenty-two minutes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's taking countdown quite. To the extreme, don't you think? It is. I need to put my Christmas tree up. Yeah, mm. no, you really do. I've been working like a mad thing. Well, that's so, understandable, yeah. Yeah. Normally, I have to put it up on the 1st of December. That's what I would normally do. Mm. This year, I put it up on the 29th because I was working on the 1st <laughs> of December. <laughs> and I wanted to, to do it with my daughter, who was not interested in doing it at all. Oh, no. <laughs> next year. She'll love it next year. I don't know about that. I've I've tried to get Jake interested in putting up Christmas tree and, and decorations, and he's like, 
puts three up and then wanders off. And it's exactly the same now. It'll be 22 in January and it's like, he'll put the tree up and then wander off. Yeah. 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 Connectors. Yeah. Connector. So if you can't get someone you love Ooh, to help nice. you put the tree up, why not make yourself a little star bracelet so you don't have to put it on the top of the tree? Yeah, just that's in case. Really yeah, nice. just in case you like Debs and is working flat out and doesn't have mm -hmm. a chance to put the tree up, which is completely understandable, especially I'm at this time of year. I'm doing it on Wednesday. Oh, are you? Yeah. The tree. Mm-hmm. I've decided. Brilliant. We're holding you to that. We want to see pictures. Pictures, yeah. £5.95. <laughs> You've got gorgeous little stars. You've got connector um, sections to them out there as well. So if you wanted to, you could pop them all into one bracelet, one necklace. You've got cubic zirconia in the centre. Just a lovely little north star. I'd make earrings and a necklace. Nice. So cut maybe that chain with the cubes on. Ooh. Cut it, pop one of these in the centre so it sits that way. And then earrings that way. Yep, I like that. Now you can sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star rather than Twinkle Twinkle Little Cubes. Yeah, you could. Yeah. Cubes. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star Cubes. <laughs> That's six pounds. It's fantastic, version. isn't it? For an entire suite of jewellery, yeah. if you think about it. Um, ooh, let me bring you this one as well. Now this one's described as a crescent moon. And I think there's one slight flaw with that. And that's the drill hole is in the centre. So unless ah. the crescent moon is trying to descend on the planet... <laughs> I'm going to say I actually love this design purely because I would like to get several of them and layer them. Yes, yeah. So you that have a little cool. chain in between or even yeah. a, a pin Couple in between. rosary link gemstones yeah. Yeah. or... Yeah. I love, love, love the shape. I see what they're going yeah. with, with the crescent moon effect, but I think, and, and you could actually attach it that way if you wanted to, you, but I prefer yeah. it that way. You could if you put it into wire work, attach it that way, because yeah. then it would yeah. sit that way. But, I also yeah. like the idea of it that way as well. Yeah. So it is the crescent moon, it's a hammered effect. It's got the drill hole right smack bang in the centre, so depending on how you want to work with it, it does have those options, and I just think it looks amazing. It's a sickle. And it's textured to perfection. Again, this is something I actually like to put with your kit mm, from earlier with the on. Crackle yeah. Quartz, yeah. In fact, let's just bring the Very crackle nice. quartz in for a moment so you can actually see. So, because you've got the hammered effect, which, with it being the most lustrous of the noble metals, you will get an amazing effect with the light when the light dances across the surface. There you go. Look at those two together. Mm. Don't they go beautifully? Shall we go under five pounds? Oh yeah, why not? Shall we do a cheeky little cracker? <laughs> a cracker deal? And I don't mean a cheese cracker deal. <laughs> I mean a pop cracker deal. Four pounds 95 and it is yours. So whether you do want to turn it into a sickle moon, whether you want to use that incredible shape to create other designs, it's, I mean, one either side of a gemstone in the middle would be amazing. Mm. I'm thinking, no, I'm just thinking, if you cut a chain again and attached it into the... You chain cutting. I know, What's I like chain cutting... chain ever done to you? I like cutting chain. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they were made for, for me to chop them. Um, that, that's exactly why they were made, yeah. the heart there, and then if you, on the other side, did like um, a rosary link with a star, mm. and have like the star then come in, into the moon section, nice. it would sit. Yeah, I like that. I do like that a lot. So we'll yeah. leave those final few there with you. Um, is it star by time already? Oh. It is star by time. I've got the sterling silver bar connectors for you. Hello. Is it sterling silver bar connectors you're looking for? Because mm -hmm. if it is, I've got the most amazing star buy for you. So I'm going to let you know right now they have managed to get a bigger quantity than the previous star buy. 
However, it is still less than 100. We've actually got 60 of these available and there is going to be a large quantity of you who are going to want to get more than one of these because these connectors are so useful. So, so useful. So you've got a simple, elegant bar which is bang on trend. If you look at wish bracelets, if you look at designers using macrame, if you look at mm -hmm. um, little chokers, if you look at the, the beautiful delicate necklaces with chain and just a simple, uh, simple bar, they are really popular right now. Really, really popular. And I'm gonna show you the back to prove that it is 925 sterling silver. You've got your little stamp there as well. You could put the message to personalise it if you wanted to. Yeah. We've had some some um, more delicate stamps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or etching, engraving onto it. Mm -hmm. You could do that as well. But I'd keep yeah. it blank. What would you do with it? I think these would make really nice connectors in earrings. Mm. So just give a little bit of a drop onto an earring, keeping it really clean and contemporary and then just a gemstone or a head pin. Um, I like using a head pin that's just got a little loop on as a, a little drop feature, yeah. no gemstone. So it's up to you, whichever you wanted to do, but that would work really nicely. I'd like to see it as a stacker and I'd like to see it as a stacker mm. with just a simple trace chain. Yeah, yeah, that would be really nice. And. Again, if you use them um, with that chain with the little cubes on, it would look mm, fab, nice. just slotting it in yes. there. Yeah, yeah, it really would. Um, these have been seen before and they were extremely popular and already it's proven to be the case again. Um, I've already got multi buyers on the lines. I've already got lots of you there who have managed to check out, which is really nice to see because the amount of times I normally say check your basket out, check your basket out, check mm. your basket out or get on the phone lines. So it's really nice to see that you are there already. You're getting these home. You're not missing out on the opportunity that we're giving you. I don't know when we're going to get them back in again. I mean, they've already proved very popular. So the likelihood is we will get them back yeah. in again. Um, but again, that's not a guarantee. But for £7.95, it's an amazing, amazing little number. You can use them separately if you want to. You can use them all together, but they're really sweet. And if you want something that is highly on trend right now and looks like the high-end designers without that kind of price yeah, point, definitely. then this is the one to go for. And if you can get more than one, please do. It's definitely worth it. You're not paying any more for the postage and packaging, so... Mm. You might as well take advantage, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. I'm just thinking as well, if you wanted to do a multi-stranded necklace or bracelet, you could use these as spacers and turn them up the other way so thread through those yes. holes and have your either chain or your gemstones. Yeah. And it would keep them separated if you had sort of a couple. Yeah. Really nice. Now, it works out at £2.65 each. And when you think about the fact, if you pop that with some Eslon, yeah. How much would that be? So say say four pound for a whole spool of Eslon. You yeah. won't use much of that, will you? Say let's no. say fifty pence worth of Eslon at the max. So for around about three pounds, you could create yourself a really nice bracelet. I think three pounds would include the clasp if you were doing. Yes, in fairness, I did. did. I was if very generous with this. Or just do like a friendship yeah. slider. Yeah. With a Jacob's yeah. ladder, is it? Yeah. Is it called a Jacob's ladder? It has different names, but yeah, it is. The slidey thing that the shall not thing, be yeah. named. <laughs> Known to others many as names. anything. <laughs> um, there's, there's lots of you there, so keep dialing in, keep checking out. And what, what would you do with it? I am now thinking jump rings in between yeah. and making a really funky, ultra modern, very urban an urban feel because this is it's unisex yeah. as well isn't it so you yeah, could create some is. really effective male pieces of jewelry yeah, you could well just just having the one and in a macrame bracelet yeah is going to be just really eye-catching because of that bar of metal that you'll have nice very nice i like these you could buy multiple packs and packs and go mad with lots of them just hanging from a necklace. That would and look they, amazing. They would just twinkle, wouldn't they? Yeah. And maybe have little diamonds at the bottom. Oh, yeah. 
hold those lines on that one, my lovelies. Now, oh, have I got time to squeeze another few in? Oh, yes, of course. So at eight o'clock, this is going to be my must-have. And it's a definite must-have. Look at the intensity of the colour that you're getting here. What gemstone could this possibly be? It's Neon Appetite. Rare, unusual. Normally you get them in very, very tiny little pieces. So to see the sizes that you're getting on this particular strand is really lovely. It's coming up at eight o'clock. Pre-orders are actually open on it. So if you do want to get it before that eight o'clock point, you are more than welcome to. Um, I'm gonna leave that there for now. And I'm gonna bring you this. More crackle. Uh -huh. Ooh, but with lots of color and that's really cold. <laughs> That's really, really cold. But look how pretty. Did you get the kit at the beginning of this hour? Because if you did, then please add this to your order because it would go so beautifully. It's a rainbow colour effect that you're getting. You're getting blues, you're getting reds. Can you see the pinks in there as well and greens and purples and oranges? You're getting a whole array of colours. And they are, of course crackled quartz so rainbow coated crackle quartz size wise you're looking at 10 by 8 to 18 by 11 and you're looking at a 38 centimeter strand it is so so nice to see just how bright those colors are and it reminds me of sweets it it's definitely very sweetie like isn't it mm. but i think with these I'm, I'm not so keen on them all mixed in, but okay. I love them when I separate them out and graduate the colours around like rainbow. And so like an ombre, but yeah. rainbow effect. Yeah, yeah, rainbow effect. So go from the cool colours to the warmer colours. Okay. I love, I absolutely love them like that because the colours are really bright and vibrant and just fun. But I, for some reason, I want to categorise them rather than leave them random, which isn't like me at all. No, no, it's not, actually. <laughs> it isn't, is it? It's weird. I'm actually quite shocked by you I saying know. that. I don't know what it is about. It's only these sorts of strands that make me want to do that. Mm. I know. Yeah, weird. Mm -hmm. weird. Well, whether you want to separate them out or want to keep them as they are, I quite like them as they are. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with them as they are. They look really cool. It's just me. I've got this thing about them and putting them into an order. It's not you, it's me. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Is that what you've actually said on air? Yeah. It's not I you, it's, it's not, me. Yeah, it's not you, it's me. I'm going to bring this to you now, so you don't have to panic about this one. Oh, you no, do this not is need all right. to separate the colours out to, on this yeah. one. Um, so. Oh, they're nice. Ooh. They really are. So these mm. are very, very similar to the ones that are in the kit. Mm. So if you do like the idea of actually uh, maybe adding to the kit so you can create more and more and more, or if you just love the look of the actual clear crackled quartz, then this is perfect for you. 12 mil, just like the same size in the kit. And they are magical, aren't they? Because mm. you've got, even though they're crackled, they've still got the ability for it to, to really project that light yeah. going through it. Yeah, and, and you can still see the clarity of the gemstone and you can see all the texture in it then as well, which is, um, it's like ice. It, it is like it ice. It really has that look. It's like when you first put ice into water and it just yeah. cracks. It cracks, makes that noise, yeah. Yeah. Love the effect it creates as well because it does, with those fractures on the inside of the stone, on some of them when the light hits it, you get an amazing rainbow effect. Yes, I saw one earlier actually when you just had it on your hand. There was one that ah. caught my eye. It's probably that one, yeah. Yeah. Fab. It's got a brilliant ability to split the light into a rainbow effect, isn't it? £4.95, pence. so for just £5, for less than some boxes of chocolate, for less than some cups mm. of coffee, mm -hmm. for less than a pizza. Oh, for sure. Mm. I love that the look of... Well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> it definitely costs less than a pizza. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> but this is it. When you start looking at it like that, how long? And I always do food references because, yeah, it's great to have pizza. It's great to have um, coffee. But how long does that actually last? Mm. Ten, minutes. Yeah. ten minutes? Oh, I don't even know if it's ten minutes. Twenty minutes? <laughs> I was with Laura Binding last night at her house and when the pizza turned up, I don't even think, me and the kids were just like in there. <laughs> in there, just, ah, Laura was still in the other room and I think most of it had gone and we were like, ah, <laughs> I'll have another piece of that. Um, but this is, this is the thing. This is going to last a long time. Do mm. not eat it, of course. Um, but it's one of those items that you're going to love you're going to make something out of it. You're going to go back to wearing it time and time again. In three years' time, you can still come back to it. You can't yeah. come back to the pizza in three years' time, can you? No. And it'd have to be a different no. pizza. It would. Yes. Most I, definitely. I, I would hope. I would very it, much it, hope. It, yeah. So, yeah. £4.95. There's lots of you there for this one, of course. I mean, it's going to be one of those that I think you just love it. It's a stash builder it is. for sure. And actually, at that price... Christmas decorations, plastic Christmas decorations, are costing more than it's, that. It's and just you could, yeah. I know. And that is just really beautiful. And can you imagine, like the Christmas lights, if you use that on your tree? This is. I, mean, I, I keep going back to I this would forty love pound to do bauble. That. I saw a four, forty pounds for a bauble. Yeah. I I'm wanted to make me a cup of tea and give me a massage for that price. <laughs> not just sit and look pretty on my tree. Goodness sake. It is mm. bananas, it isn't is. it? Really bananas. Yeah. Anyway, it wouldn't cost you anywhere near as much to actually get, you know, £40 worth of these. Imagine yeah. how much decorating you could do. Yeah, they'd look fab, wouldn't they? They would. Just like all over the tree and, yeah, really just pretty. Like I might do that. I might mm. get some and do that. Oh, mind you, I won't get them by Wednesday. That's an issue. It doesn't mean you have to put them on the tree on Wednesday, though. You can oh, decorate no, that's your true. tree and then use these elsewhere. Hmm. Or, again, going back to the, the vases, these would be brilliant with flowers. Yeah, they would. Candles. Yeah, they would. In a fish tank. Yeah, the fish would love it, wouldn't they? <laughs> the, the fish would be looking into them and going, how many fish can I see? <laughs> Is that me? No. See, it sounds... There's three of me. Oh, hello. Yeah, it would How be. many eyes? Yeah. <laughs> um, Freak them out. It just would a little bit, wouldn't it? <laughs> it sounds quite ludicrous when you put it like that, but mm -hmm. actually, the kind of prices you pay for gravel for fish tanks, yeah. and you start looking at prices of genuine gemstones, and you kind of think... Yeah, Multiply those and sort it. It's worth it. It's worth it. Uh, talking of worth it, I have got <laughs> the must-have coming up after the break. So rich so beautiful you've got about five minutes five minutes of the pre-order still um so please if you want it make sure you're getting it early this is pre-orderable for five more minutes and then you'll get a chance to own it right after this hello jewelry makers and welcome to africa uh, Alex the Mineral Man here. Just a quick note to let you know that I will be with you on the morning of the 10th of December uh, with lots of new and exciting products. So hope to see you soon. Thank you very much. At Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Did you know that when you book a Jewellery Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewellery Maker shop? 
you can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just $3.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $5.95. Jewelry Maker. Share. Join us this Wednesday on Jewelry Maker for the gem setting day. We have got the most stunning deal of the day for you, Ethiopian nuggets. As well as that, we're gonna be bringing to you the deluxe gem setting toolkit so that you can create unique pieces. We also have for you yellow sapphire, aquamarine, pink amethyst, and a selection of pearls and everything to suit your gem setting needs. As well as that, we've also going to be joined by the incredible Hayley Kruger and the wonderful Fleur Hastings. So join us at Jewelry Maker this Wednesday for Gem Setting Day. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate, covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the book now button, fill in the required fields, and then press continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hello, welcome back. I'm Lars Lou, and this, of course, is the one and only Debru. Or Debrudge, as everybody else knows her as. I just like Debruge. Really? She's winding me up. Oh, is she? Mm. So Leah in my ear is saying she likes to be called Debbie or Deborah. I can cope with Deborah. Hmm. Is that your actual name? Because I have a friend whose name's Debbie. And if you say Deborah, it's very much, no, that is not my name. Oh, no, is understandable. my name is Deborah, yeah. Deborah. Deborah. Deborah Rouge. <laughs> I'll call you Deborah Rouge. But don't Rouge. call me Debbie. Okay, no Debbie. No Debbie. No. I outgrew that at eight. I like the mm. name Debbie, it's nice, yeah. yeah. I don't feel like a Debbie. Well, if you don't feel like a Debbie, don't be a Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> don't be a Debbie, simple. <laughs> now, um, pre-orders have now ceased. Mm. They were very, very popular. This is actually 50 carats. 50 carats. Wow. Oh, I know it's a lot, isn't it? Mm. Almost 30% of the stock has actually gone on pre-order. Now, we did see this one a little while ago, and it was so, 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 so popular um, that we had to bring it back. Big issue with what we've got now is that the first time it completely sold out, that was in September, which is a, quite a while ago now, because of the stone it is, it was hard enough to try and get the quantity we had last time. I think it was 200, was it? 
200 originally last time. Yeah, we had 200. This time we only managed to get 100 and that's because of the rarity and the uniqueness of this stone. It's really unusual. It's, it's very highly saturated and not many stones get to that kind of level of saturation. And the intensity of the colour that you get is absolutely phenomenal. So to get an entire strand with the carat weight that you're seeing here, with that intensity of colour is really, really, really quite special and very unusual. We were very lucky to get 200 the first time round and we already knew when we went to reorder we wouldn't get the same quantity again, which is a shame, but these things happen. It's, that's what happens when you work in the gem world. When you're working with a natural resource, you're never guaranteed to get the same amount. No. Ever. You're never guaranteed anything, are you, really? No. So, yeah. Everything fluctuates so much. I think that's what makes this industry really exciting, is the fact that yeah. nothing stays still, nothing stays mm. stagnant. I got 100 of them. Well, I did have 100 of them. There isn't there now. Clocks on the screen. 30% of the stock has now already been allocated. There is one final warning. We've got one minute on the clock. Have you been doing your finger exercises? <laughs> this is the reason I say we need to do the finger exercises. This is the reason you need to move those fingers, get them warmed up, because you wouldn't want to be tapping those buttons too quickly without having warmed your fingers up, would you? So we have less than a minute remaining before the information will be hopped on the screen. That will then give you the chance to warm those fingers up, stretch and reach and stretch and, and move your wrist around as well, just to, so you've got a bit of rest, ex <laughs> a bit rest ex wrist exercises there as well. Finger exercises, wrist exercises, and that'll give you a good chance, a fighting <laughs> chance to be able to get this in your life before they sell out because 200 of them sold out the first time, 100 is just gonna go like that, isn't it? Yeah, so. it is. Five, four, three, two, one. Are you ready? The graphics are on the screen for you. Phone lines, you can just go bananas on if you want to. It's entirely up to you if you do it phone line wise, if you do it web wise, if you do it app wise. Oh, goodness me, and already, already, there's Patricia there, there's Kerry Ann there, there's Teresa there, Joe there, Elaine's there, Patricia in Northampton's there, Alison's there, Collector in London's got three. Well done, my darling. Collector in Kent with two. It was always going to be a case that we were going to have collectors on those phone lines. It was always going to be a case that we're going to have multi buyers on there as well. I have already guaranteed it under £10. This is a really unusual gemstone. This is not just any appetite, this is neon appetite. This is the most saturated variety of appetite. Mm. It's got the most intensity of blue. It's got a gorgeous, gorgeous colour and you really do not need to use much of it for it to really pack a punch. I mean, it really is magical, isn't it? When you it see is. that colour, what would you do with yeah, it? Yeah, it's got real intensity to yes. it. I like the fact that they're quite informal in terms of the shape mm. so I'd, I'd want to work with that and keep it either um, just an informal sort of wire work that was quite regular okay yeah and you wouldn't need to use a lot of it because no, it, it has got that color so it has got that real punch of color that that will highlight areas of your design yeah. quite nicely now you're doing a bit of crochet at the moment Yes. Could you crochet with this? Yeah, you could. Yeah, you could. And that would look lovely because it has that colour. Mm. And you can play then with the colour of the thread that you're using. So I think, um, again, your, your S-long cords would work really nicely with it. Would you go with a contrasting colour? I don't know. I'd like purple. I th oh, purple would mm. be lovely, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it would. That would work really nicely with it. Or, um, or even go for the, the sort of um, orangey tones, like Ooh. a burnt orange would be nice with that as well. Yeah, it really would. Yeah, again, I agree with that. Hello, dear. Yes? Okay, Ross has just pointed out the fact that we have got £7.95 on your screen at this exact moment in time, which means what? It means that we're already under £10. That's what we promised, wasn't it? £10. Under £10, it's pushed past the £9.95. <laughs> it's 
careered behind the £8.95 and it is standing firmly right now at £7.95 for you. But it's not finished its journey. $7.95 is not your final price. Everyone who actually got on the phone line early to guarantee this, when it was £9.95, when it hadn't even had a price on there, everybody pays that final low price. So if you come on the phone lines now at £7.95, you are not going to pay that. It's not going to go up. There's only one way it can <laughs> go, and that's down. So hop on the phone line now at $7.95, and you know you are guaranteed to not pay that price. You will be paying the final low price, which we've not yet got to. Mel, you're going to pay the final low price. So are you, my darling Jane. So are you, Ruth, sweetheart. You're going to get two of these at that final low price each. So well done. If you haven't already done so, do check those baskets out. I always remind you about that because I have been stung Me too. by that on too many occasions yep me too and i think for us it's a little bit worse isn't it because well, we should know better. exactly <laughs> we're the ones saying go on get yeah, on the phone lines and, and do this that, and the other and then we miss out so this is why we yeah. keep telling you because we really should know better um, five pounds 95 is your final price 50 whole carrots of appetite of incredible intent. Now, this is not saying neon appetite on the screen, but I think you can you can see what kind of variety it of appetite totally is, it is. Though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can see the colour. That's not your sky blue appetite. That's no. not your green appetite at all, is it really? No, no. Beautiful, intense blue, rich, gorgeous saturation. It's it's magical. Absolutely magical. And the, the just the colour for me is the thing just I, to go for. Yeah. I love the colour of mm. these, but I, I also love the fact that they're like little pebbles as well. Yeah. And because it's got that combination of the colour and the, the shape and the smoothness, I just think it's really tactile and will cheer you up every time mm. you look at it as well. If you've got teal in your room, I think this would go mm. beautifully with it. I yeah. know you maybe think teal's a slightly different colour because it's got more of a green slightly to it. more green. But actually, I think this would work. Yeah, it would. Yeah. Same family, isn't it, really? Mm. Yeah, it would. Just one of those would make a really nice ring yes. with some sterling silver wire or, you know, um, gold plated wire or mm. something. That would just be fab because it has that colour. It has it that really intensity. Does have the intensity. The thing for me, I mean, I've mm. got, I have got a, a little, um, I say a little, I have a neon appetite ring. Mm. They're tiny. The yeah. neon appetite in them is absolutely tight. I love them to pieces. They pack a punch and it's a cluster of them together yeah. so they really do yeah. stand out. But to be able to see the sizes that you're getting here and to think that yeah. you could create one ring, one solitaire. In fact, one solitaire. Yeah, just with that one Just with stone. that one piece and that would be enough to really pack a punch. Whereas mine had to have lots of little ones clustered yeah. together to, yeah. to, to give the effect. To build that impact, yeah. yeah. So that's the beauty of what you're getting here is something that you can really, really take advantage of how many you'll, you've got mm. on here. Rosary link in those nice. would be lovely because it, it would double the length of the strand quite yeah. easily. So you'd have loads. You could layer them up then. And, yeah. do, and again, something quite informal and not too structured. And I'm thinking but, as well, the fact that this would go very, very nicely with the, the gold coloured copper. Yeah, it would. Um, it yeah. would also go very, very nicely with the... We've got a really bright orange copper, copper in at the moment. Yeah. And that colour would really work Yeah, it would. This. Yeah, totally. So if you already have that mm. in your stash, add this to your order for £5.95, especially if you never bought yep. from us before. What a great way to join in. Oh, yeah. And, and you would then still get your two extra strands. Two free strands, strands, yeah. And it would be... You now, know, what... Oh, imagine Crazy. if you got Ethiopian opal as your free <laughs> strand. You'd bought this as your, your first purchase. Yeah. And then maybe, I don't know, maybe a Tanzanite was your second, second strand. strand. Wouldn't that be amazing? Well, I mean, you wouldn't quite believe, would you, when you opened up your mm. parcel? Just the mere fact that you've paid sort of less than £6 for this and then you've got two extra strands as well, yeah. plus the DVD. The DVD. Yeah. It's like, it's almost like Christmas. It's almost like <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> almost like Christmas might be 15 days and one and three quarter hour, four hours and a bit. And it was, yeah, about 15 minutes now, probably. Yeah. Or less. Was it an hour ago we did this, though? So I it can't be remember. three hours now. I don't know. 
No, 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 we're talking about Christmas, sweet pea. The Christmas countdown, what are we on now? <laughs> Three days, no, 15 days. Three hours, 46 minutes and 30 seconds. No. Now. <laughs> now. Hold those lights, my darlings. I think every hour we should do like, it's now 15 days. Oh no, that would drive me mad. It'd be like having Christmas carols on loop. I've not heard enough Christmas songs yet. Have you I been haven't. whammed yet? Have you heard of Whamageddon? No, not yet. So Whamageddon, I explained it yesterday morning. Um, I'd never heard of Whamageddon. And it's a game that people are playing at the moment. So Whamageddon, Whamageddon. So you know Wham's Last Christmas? Mm -hmm. You have to see how long you can go in between hearing that. Oh, okay. So if you randomly have people going past you going, oh, I've been whammed. <laughs> That's it. That's it. If there you're out shopping, you stand no chance. No, this is it. Oh, I've been whammed again. Yeah, don't go out. Leah's advice, don't go out. I'd agree with that. Yeah, don't go out. Oh, you can. So I've got a rose gold, sterling silver rose gold plated. Oh, that's really nice, that one. You're not seeing this yet? No, I've oh, not seen I love it. it. Absolutely love this. <sighs> that's gorgeous. It's, it's a really, really exquisite. Contemporary as well. Yeah, totally contemporary. The first time, there you go. The first time I saw this, I thought you pressed that to actually slide it. Well, that's not the case at all. It's just a really nice contemporary design. But it reminds me of a very famous perfume. Yeah. Everyone's looking at me blankly. How can you not know it's just a... I don't know if it's going to be the same one I'm thinking. Is, is it done by Dior? Other perfume brands are available. No, no, complete, no. no. Everyone's going, no, no, no. Okay, no. so maybe, maybe it's just me then. Okay, okay, it's just me, it's just me, <laughs> that's fine. It's absolutely fine. It's not the um, same one I was So this of. is going to be my star box. This is going to be my star buy. <laughs> I'm talking to the wrong people, am I? Oh, um, no. Oh, I'm... are you a perfume? Oh, I love perfume. Mm. Mm. Right, now, we're just, we're just looking at each other blankly now. So this is going to be my star buy coming up in a little while. In between, can I, can I pick one? It really depends on what I'm going to pick. You get, just, just guess which one I've got. No. Oh, hello, my earpiece has fallen out. You're going to have to tell me what you said now. I don't know where. She, Say where. it again. Oh, neither of no, those. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Six. Yes. Oh, these are nice. Yes, I'm allowed to bring number six. <sighs> what shape is this? This is it. This is the thing. What shape mm -hmm. is that? Mm -hmm. I need these. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Sauces. Oh, where Just have they been hiding? In my box number six. Yeah. In, yeah. <laughs> in my box. <laughs> well... Well, I've indeed. not seen them before. I've been hiding them from you, I'm sorry. 20 carats of black spinel, but I mean, black spinel's beautiful no matter what shape it is, but this shape just takes it to the nth degree. Oh, wait, what size are they? Three by one. They oh, are on oh, the expense, expense it. Oh. The amount of sparkle you get with this as well. Look, look. Oh, look at those. <laughs> They are that good. It needs a little bit of a wookie call. Mm, it does. I've said it wrong, haven't I? I always say wookie. 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 I'm from Stoke, come on. It's Luke Luke. Luke, yeah. 
<laughs> Wookie. <laughs> it is. It's Luke and Book and Kook and Wookie. Okay, Wookie. <laughs> Not Wookie. 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 It's Wookie, isn't it? These are going to sell out. Nine pounds ninety-five. Oh. Um, good luck is all I'm going to say. It's it's magical. Again, very very limited on stock on this hour, oh, so I'm please be as quick as you can on those. Now, next up, how many of these do we have? Oof, limited. Oh, really limited then. Less oh, than ten. Oh, they're gorgeous, aren't they? <sighs> Every single one of these would be a feature pendant on its own. Yeah, it would. Yeah. I read that as fancy frogs. They're fancy drops, not fancy frogs. <laughs> no. Fancy drops. 90 carats of citrine graduated. Fancy drops. They're called plain. They're not plain, are they? They're not oh. plain. The way the colour moves within this stone is absolutely incredible. It's almost like... They are so cool. It's like molten sugar. You know when you get... Yeah, it is, when it starts to crystallise. Yeah. Yeah. This looks absolutely gorgeous. So what would you do with something like this, then? Because I would literally just pendant it and that's it. I'd want to make a spiky ring with the smallest one, probably. It should be that. That's deadly. I know, but it'd be really cool, wouldn't it? It, it would. Yeah. That's what I would do. I'd make a spiky ring with it. And earrings, obviously, they're perfect for earrings. Mm -hmm. They'd be really nice, actually, to do, like, you know the crescent moon shape we had? Yeah. Do that shape. Yeah. And then have these spiking outwards nice. from that. So in, like, a semicircular shape. They're Are they awesome. Sold out? Oh, they're gone. They've gone. Okay. Now, oh, I have a... Oh, I have. Oh, I have. You have? Oh, you have. A Wookie. <laughs> no, I've got a Tanzanite, which I pointed out a little bit earlier on. It's, it's, I think it's got to be the finest Tanzanite strand I have seen in what feels like forever. It's been so long since I've been able to bring you a selection of Tanzanite. So today I'm very excited that I have actually been able to. We've had quite a bit. Yeah, we have. We really yeah. have. But you need to look at the uniformity of the colour that you're getting on this and the depth of colour. Because when we get tanzanite strands, we very often, if you look at the sort of colour grading of a tanzanite, you've got A, double A, double A plus, triple A, quad A, don't you? You've got, you've got yeah. a whole variety and it's all down yeah. to the, the depth of the colour and the saturation, how much of the purple you can see. When we get a strand, you're looking more towards the A grade, aren't you? Yes. It's normally really it's... quite pale. Still beautiful, still get to see the pleochrism, still get gorgeous colour and, and, and tones to it. But this, yeah, this, this looks to me like at least, at least double A plus. It, my my yeah, Tanzanite ring, nice. which hopefully I will find one day. It'll turn um, up. I desperately need to find it. It'll turn um, up. That was supposed to be a triple A, and this has more depth of colour. Right. It's so, so beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's coming up at nine o'clock. Um, there's not a huge quantity of them, and it's not going on pre-order, I'm afraid. Sorry mm. about that. No. Yeah. It looks amazing with that rose gold. It does. Sorry, got distracted there. You did, and now you've distracted me. No, that would look up just a little bit. Mm. That's a winner. Winner, winner. Mm. That would be a gorgeous gift, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Oh, oh I love it. Now, I'm bringing you this one. Tans are nice again. Oh, these are really nice, actually. I do like the fact that you've got multiple colours. Yeah, bicolour tanzanite. Mm. Very small quantities of, of bicolour tanzanite yeah. comes out. I mean, really small quantities. Think how small a quantity of tanzanite comes out of the ground and then just add a decimal point and just squeeze it yeah. to one side <laughs> dramatically. Um, so what you expect to see with a bicolour tanzanite, sometimes you see pinks. Sometimes you see this gorgeous green. 
this, this beautiful green and you are most definitely getting that in abundance on this, aren't you? Yeah, it's fab. Oh, wow, looking at that one there. Yeah. From the end, it's showing really green. I don't know if you can see. That's down. I mean, seeing more of one colour than the other is down to the optic Isn't axis. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Absolutely amazing. It's down to the optic axis. So you're looking down an optic axis and you get varying different yeah. axes in the gemstones. And one side you'll see more of the blue and then you'll turn it and the other side you'll yeah. see more of the green. That's really strong green in mm. that one. Completely. That's fabulous. Completely. But I, I love the ones that really do show the contrast of the two. Yeah. I mean, when, yeah. when was the last time we saw bicolored tanzanite? In fact, to be fair, the last time I saw bicolored tanzanite was when I was working at a, a different company and yeah. it was set into gold. If we were lucky, well, it was yeah, set into normally, sterling silver. Normally you would, wouldn't yeah. you, set it into gold because it is so much rarer to, it's, to it, be able to get. Very much a collector's stone. Yeah. If you can get the, in fact, if I say if you can get the authenticity card, the authenticity card is 25 pence. It's always a good idea if you have a stone like this, which is rare and unusual, to add an authenticity card. Yeah. So you've got that little bit of proof, that little bit of peace of mind as well, especially if you're making to sell and you want to have something to, to prove what you're actually selling. Yeah. Hold those lines, my darlings. Hold those lines. Oh, some more tanzanite. Whoa, oh. loads more tanzanite. <laughs> Now this just knotted slightly when I held it. And I like that effect. Mm. I think that's what I would do. So it's it's basically like a, a double, double, triple strand. We'll see how, if, I'm guessing about 89 centimeters in length this would be. So it is a nugget strand. It's 96 centimeters. Oof. So a huge, huge, huge mm -hmm. length to this. Just knot it. How I would wear it is I would pop it on the neckline. I'd literally just knot the bottom like this. Just a simple, so you know the old flapper style mm. necklaces from the 1920s? Yeah. I'd re-strand it to give it a bit more strength. Definitely, yeah. But just that, simple simple as that. The security. Yeah. I'd w if I was re-stranding it, I'd want to pop um, pearls in it as well. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Luxurious. I know, but it'd be nice, wouldn't it? 8.95. 8.95, you could be wearing your very own tanzanite necklace with oodles and oodles and oodles of tanzanite. 150 carats of tanzanite. You've got a variety of different colors in there as well. Some of them are bordering towards triple A, some are on the um, A grade, some are double A. Some you're seeing more greens coming through as well, some mm. little bit of bicolor coming in there. You've got such an amazing variety in each and every single one of these. Separate them out, pop them into bracelets if you want to, earrings, but actually I'd just like to restrand it and do exactly what I've just done then. Yeah, that would be nice. Well done to everyone who's already got theirs. Karen, well done to you. Elizabeth, well done to you. You've got two of these, which is wonderful. Mikey, good luck. Danny, good luck. If you do love your tanzanite, nuggets is most definitely the way forward. And I would be getting a bowl. I'm popping them in the bowl. And pop a little candle. Oh, nice. Because get a couple of these strands and you can actually create some really beautiful effects. Yeah, you, you don't just need to make jewellery out of it. Yeah, you could. It's They'd be nice crocheted as well. Oh, on, um, okay. You could do them on monofilament. Nice. And keep it really light. Yeah, look really good. Mm. We could do like a bib effect with it. Yeah, yeah. Just that would be it, wouldn't it? Would. Yeah. The little flashes of gold. With all those colours, yeah. Gold seed beads. Yeah. Talking of gold seed beads. <laughs> My next hour, mm. we've got the kit coming up. Do you want to have a sneaky peek at the jewellery? Should we have a little sneaky peek? Because this tanzanite would go very, very nicely with uh, this jewellery, I think. It would, actually. Yeah, it would. Mm. It would work really nicely with the gold. No question about it. 
Make sure you're checking out on the Tanzanite we don't want you to miss out on that one. Again, it's not very often we get to bring you. We bring you nuggets all the time, but when do we bring you Tanzanite nuggets? I've not seen them for ages, no, you know. I'm not that quality as well. We're getting really mm. deep, rich colours coming through in them, which is fabulous. Ooh. <laughs> now. We had some really nice base metal little spacers, didn't yeah, they? Spacers, yeah, we did. From the first hour. Mm -hmm. They went at £2.95, was it, for a pack of five? With cubic zirconia? Does my memory serve me correctly? Or the sterling silver ones Ooh, as well. Oh, all the sterling silver you ones, yes. Juice those in that. Mm. Separate those out, that'd be beautiful. Check yeah. your baskets out, my darlings. You know the Peridot we had earlier on? Yeah. Just think of that for a moment. Think the kind of sizes that that looked like. Yes. Yeah. Okay. What was the biggest on those strands? Because the first one was the little squares, wasn't it? Which were yeah. small and compact and crammed loads on, which was brilliant. Yep. And then the other one was... The rondelles, was it? wasn't it? Yeah. But they weren't massive. They weren't big. They were good size, great size. They were Oh, they're nice. When size does matter. And look at the clarity and mm -hmm. look at the colour. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, this is going to be a considered purchase. I think you can tell that straight away, wow. can't you, when you actually look at the size and the clarity and the colour of these. I mean, you hit it on the head completely, didn't you? Mm, they're awesome. When do we ever get to see this size of Peridot? Wow. Ross, dare I ask how many? I love the fact you say nice quantity and then say 30, because that's not a nice quantity, Ross. It's better than it has been. I understand why it's a nice quantity for what you're getting, because actually to source yeah. the quality that you're seeing here and the sizes that you're seeing here, again, is not something that you would expect big quantities no. of. So 30, I suppose, yes, is a good quantity. Not for the amount of people who are going to want them, but I want nonetheless... Them. They're instant. Yeah. The desire for them is instant, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Just to see how big these are. 20 carats. 20 carats, six humongous individual gemstones. Yes, you do get the spaces beads in between as well. <gasps> One of these is a ring. One, yeah. Yeah, that would be really cool. One of these as a ring, £39.95. OK, so one of these as a ring, uh, how much would you charge? £60, £70, minimum. <laughs> That's my wide load reversing noise. Oh, yeah. is it? Yeah. Not this vehicle is reversing. <laughs> no. This no. vehicle just is beat. reversing. That's it's amazing. Really good price. It is incredible. There is no question about it. What you are getting on this strand is something incredible. Thirty-nine pounds ninety-five. That actually is not a considered purchase for what you're getting. I was expecting it to be a lot higher than that. Yeah. A lot, lot higher for than that. For that quality mm -hmm. of peridot, yep. definitely, definitely. I mean, if you ask me to pay that kind of price for two of these or one of these, yeah, okay. Mm. Well, that, that is the quality of peridot that you could set into gold quite easily. Very, very, very easily. Really, really easily, in fact. And it should be, I think. I mean, when yeah. you've got something of this calibre... Yeah, definitely. You need to be setting it into a... a noble metal yeah there's no question about it you need to be setting it into a noble metal to really complement and if i just turn these for a moment mm. you can see the clarity there can't you yeah fabulous 
you can see it there. Now, there were 30 of these available. Look at the glow. Wouldn't you love to have these as a pair of earrings? Yeah. Wouldn't you love to combine it with something like jadeite? That would be really nice. Mm. Or actually, I'm thinking with the tanzanite, that would, you know, the tanzanite strand we've got coming up? Yes. I th And there's a saying, isn't there, blue and green... I think should never be seen or something. No, it's but red I and think green, isn't it? Red and green. Red and green should never be seen except but upon look a full. At the... Oh, is it? That's oh, why that's the Jester's different. costume is green and red normally. That's different to the one I've heard. Oh, is it? But look how awesome they look. They ah. just look so good together, don't they? They really do. Really do look amazing, don't yeah. they? Yeah. Beautiful. If you manage to get a hold of this, just also I'm going to say is a huge congratulations because it that is an amazing... Amazing opportunity mm. and nowhere near as considered as I would have thought it should have been. Um, the size is yeah. enormous. Yeah. Enormous. Um, so the Tanzanite that we've just shown you with those peridots is actually coming up at nine o'clock, which is not that far away. Goodness me, time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> what have we got now? Just like a magpie. I am. I can't Did help you? it. It's all right. Carry on. Oh, I well, like these. It's nice to see, because I appreciate yeah. gemstones a lot. So when we've got other magpies in the building... Yeah, it, it's just, you know, yeah, in my nature. Yeah, I appreciate it loads. 15 carats of multicolored sapphire. And look at how many yellow sapphires we're getting yeah. on here. Oh, and the pink. Oh, look yeah. at the reds. Wow, look at that. That's so close to a ruby. I'd in fact, I would probably ruby. pass that as a ruby, yeah. Yeah. So the, the the only difference, and I say the only difference between a sapphire and a ruby, is the fact that, well, they're the same, <laughs> except ruby's red. Yeah, and that is red. And that is red. Um, so anything, a sapphire is normally synonymous with blue. So if you say, oh, it's a sapphire, you would automatically yes. assume it was blue. Yeah. If you said a ruby, it would be red. Anything that's not a blue uh, sapphire or a red ruby is known as a fancy sapphire and you get a multitude of different colours. You can get white sapphire, you can get yellow sapphire, you can get orange sapphire, you can get an orangey pinky sapphire which is known as paparazzi sapphire, you can get purple sapphire. I like green sapphire. Green sapphire green as well, yes. It's beautiful. Yeah, you can get green sapphire. You can get so many different colours of sapphire. Yeah. It is fantastic. And not everybody knows you can actually get that variety of colour. No. This is why I love gemstones, because for a very long time, I didn't know that sapphire was any other colour apart from blue. In fact, I remember years ago watching, I think it was a BBC programme, and I can't remember what the actual programme was called. Yeah. But a lady said, oh, this is my white sapphire ring. I think they went through airport security and they asked her what it was and she said it was a white sapphire. I'm like, there's no such thing as white sapphires. There's no such thing as white sapphires. Yeah, I was wrong. I was very wrong. You got something really magical there, so well done, my darling. Now, is it, is it time for... Okay. Well, we've got a little bit of a treat for you of rose gold colours. Um, so I'm going to bring you this. Oh. Yes. Oh, indeed. Oh, indeed. Mm. So, if you like your slider bracelets, you're going to absolutely adore this. Because what you're looking at here is a slider bracelet. Well, just take a look, you'll see. I think you need to see this for yourself. Doesn't this look completely gorgeous? It's Swarovski. And you've got this gorgeous rose gold plated 925 sterling silver with the pin ends. So, complete elegance. I mean, look how high-end yeah. this looks. There's no question about it. This does look completely high-end, doesn't it? You can it imagine really does, going yeah. into a, an exclusive boutique or an exclusive jewellers. The kind of jewellers where you have to make an appointment before you turn up. <laughs> the kind of jewellers where the security guard answers the door because you have to ring a bell to get in. That's the kind of look you've got with this. It 
is. Yeah, it is. It looks like you need to go to the kind of jewellers where they pull out the champagne. Oh, I like those places. <laughs> I've never been into one of those places, but oh, I would yeah. love to be <laughs> able to go into one of those places where they know you're going to spend so much money that they bring out the bottle of champagne <laughs> just to encourage you along the way. Mm. Um, but it has got that kind of a feel to it, doesn't it? it yeah. is, it's high-end, it's glamorous, it's Swarovski, so you've got what an incredible look. Now, what would you be putting with this? Because, of course, the other side of this particular bracelet is open to you to do whatever you want. Tanzanite can go in there. In fact, the peridot yeah. that we've Ooh, just had... That would be wouldn't really, it? really nice, yeah. Wouldn't it, would. it just... So it is 925 sterling silver and then it has the gold plating over the surface there as well. And it literally is down to you to choose your favourite gemstones or your favourite combination of metals or beads or whatever it is you want to do and just to create something completely magical. And then wear it and enjoy it and love it and just wait mm. for those compliments to come in because they really are. And it's just 1695. That's fab. I do like that one. Less than a bottle of champagne. Oh, yeah. You don't even need to visit the jewellers who bring those bottles of champagne nope. out. You can have one all to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, what would... What? what would you say... Ah. Well, that's, that's the answer. There we are. What would you yeah. say... If I were to bring you this chain. I like this one. Mm. This is magic, isn't it? That's lovely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really nice. Rose gold plated, 925 sterling silver beaded curve chain. It's 18 inches in length. Now, I'm going to say it. Go on. But you could cut it. Oh! And then. Damn! And put those peridot. Put the peridot in, in between the beads. At the front. Or can even just, just one of them. Can you not just leave a chain intact? Mm, I can. But. But the temptation is there to cut it, so. And just put gemstones in. You know. Okay, well, I'll give you a price. That means you can cut it if you want to. Fab. Yeah, how about that then? Oh, gold plated, rose gold plated, 95 sterling silver, beaded curve chain, 18 inches Ooh, yes. for just £9.95. So if you want to cut it, Deb, you can cut it. Thanks. I'd get two for that and then join them together with little rosary linked gems. Oh, no, that's a good idea. It's a brilliant idea, but... But I'd probably have enough then to make earrings as well. No, I like the idea of these as earrings, actually. I like yeah. the idea of these as tassels. Oh, yeah. Tassels would be lovely. See how infectious you are. I know. Chop your chain. See, I, I just... I try and steer away from it now because the amount of years that I actually... My mum used to buy me pendants with, with chains. Oh, right, And then yeah. when I first started off making jewellery and I didn't have the ability to get... I didn't know where <laughs> no. to get loose chain from. I used to chop my chains. Yeah, and then couldn't reconnect them. Oh no, I managed. I managed oh, to do okay. it. I managed That's to, okay. but I used so many of my chains that I had lots of pendants sitting doing not a lot, and ended up um, having to then switch the pendants on yeah. the chains, no, that's and irritating. that made me lose my favourite pendant. Oh no! I found it, but Somewhere it had broken. No, it wasn't safe mm. at all. It was down mm. the back of something. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember if it's a sofa or if it was down the back of the bed or what. Oh, no. But um, some of the stones have fallen out. Ah. So, yeah. Don't chop your chains with pendants on them. No. Is the moral to that story. Always the moral to the story. Yeah. Uh, for £9.95, get as many of these as you can and get them as gifts as well because they're gorgeous as gifts. Now, there's a few in baskets, so make sure if it is in your basket you are checking them out. Look at the, just look at the it's way It's it really fluid, isn't it? Yeah. That movement. Considering you've got the balls in the different spacing. Yeah. 
you wouldn't expect to have as much fluidity to it, but you really do. Mm. Less than 10 left now. Less Ooh. than 10 chances remaining on that one. Okay. So I'm going to squeeze this one in before I bring you the star by. The star by is coming up very, very soon, and it is this beautiful slider bracelet. Yeah, I like that one. I think that's my favourite tonight. Yeah, it's really lovely, isn't it? Mm. One more auction's time. Panic not. Fear not for it shall be with you in one auction's time. <laughs> Just a one auction. They're lovely. Aren't they? And they've got the loops at the bottom for mm -hmm. drops. They're reminding me of eggs. Eggs in a little nest. Mm. <laughs> Sunny side up. Rose gold <laughs> plated, 925 sterling silver, hammered earrings. You've got a round freshwater cultured pearl on the top. And you've got little loops at the bottom, so you can, if you want to, chop the chain up that we've just had. <laughs> Yeah, chop attach the chain, it to add a, it in. Yeah, attach it as tassels <laughs> to the end yeah. of the um, earrings. Wouldn't that look really nice, though? Mm -hmm. It would. Yeah, it would. Just check that your fine head pins go through or a 0.4 wire yeah. before you chop your chain. That's my health warning. <laughs> Please take note of Deb's <laughs> health warning. Yeah. Got a strange sense of deja vu now. <laughs> yeah. Really strange <laughs> sense of deja vu. All I need is a cat in the room and then it would be perfect. Complete. Yeah. yeah, perfect. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Shall we take these under ten pounds for you? It really is a strange sense of deja vu. <laughs> Taking these under ten pounds. We are. Nine pounds ninety-five. <laughs> it is one point eight grams of sterling silver that you're getting in these as well. So great. Great amount of sterling silver. Lovely to see that kind of quantity of silver actually mm. in earrings. You very rarely get the bigger quantities of silver in earrings, do you? No, and it, it's also really nice to see that hammered quality against the smooth luster of the pearl, isn't it? Yep, 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 nice. yep, yep, really is. And I'm now thinking mm. the moon. Steady. The moon. I know, it's, it's dangerous, it gives me a headache. Mm. The moon that we had, the hammered moon that we had would look really nice with these further yeah. down. Make sure you're checking yeah. those ones out, my darlings, because it is now time for the star buy. We've seen lots of slider bracelets over the years and you've loved every single one of them and they tend to be one of our biggest selling items, mainly because they're so easy to use. So even if you're a beginner, it, it doesn't matter. It's, it's literally attach yeah. something very simple to it, couple of minutes if that, and jobs are good. And they're great if you're making to sell, again, because of how quick they are to use and also how dramatically effective they are. They look like you're walking into a boutique, like you're walking into a high-end jeweler's. Mm -hmm. They got that, that kind of professional quality and finish to it. And that's why I'm very pleased to be able to bring you this design. Different than what we've seen in the past. Even more beautiful, I think. So if I just open these out for a second so you can see. We've seen skulls. We've seen rounds, we've seen ovals, we've seen hearts, we've seen encrusted, we've seen the Swarovski one that you've just had a, a few moments ago. And now we're getting something very simple, very elegant, and again, very much the high end glamour. I can imagine seeing this on an advert right now on a, a very mm, famous yeah. actress. Yes, definitely. It has. It has that refined, sophisticated look about it. Mm -hmm. It does. Yeah. In every single sense of the term, it really, genuinely does. 
The first one has already been allocated. So congratulations if you were the lucky one who got a hold of that. It's, it has got something really remarkable to it. And to be able to think that, do you know what? Normally, I'd have to go into a really expensive jeweler's to get something like this. Mm. And what you're getting here is the ability for you to create that high-end design. Yeah. For you to have that professional finish. For you to be able to sit down, make something magnificent and be really, really proud of what you created. Whether you're making to sell, whether you're making to gift, whether you're making for yourself, it is just so lovely it to is. be able to have a high quality finish to a piece like this. And it, this, if you wanted to create more contemporary design with it, because of the, the slider bead that you've got there, mm -hmm. it's going to work really nicely. So keep it quite pared back and refined. Yes. Um, and then, obviously, if you've got others, then you can do different styles with other ones. But I personally, um, we've had recently some just plain bars of sterling silver mm. um, that were fairly chunky. They would work brilliantly yeah. with this. Just pop that on. Yeah. And I think also um, they're sort of, they cross any gender because it's a lot, it's, you know, like the Swarovski one is a very feminine look. Mm -hmm. This, I think, has more of a universal appeal. Again, look at actors, um, look at, not even just the red carpet, but in interviews. Um, who am I thinking of? Do, 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 do. Johnny Depp. Mm. We're known for wearing bracelets. Mm. And yeah. you do see him wearing lots of stacker bracelets as well. Yep. Yeah. And you can imagine him actually wearing something like this. Rose yeah. gold really made a comeback a couple of years ago, and I don't think it's going to go away. I don't think it is either. I think the popularity yeah. of it is huge, and it yeah. doesn't seem to be fading. So it's bang on trend. You've got an ultra, ultra high quality finish to it, and it's just £15.95. Mm, How I much would you one. be paying if you went into one of the big jewellers? It could, I mean, £200. Well, look, if you've got a moment, have a look. You know. Have a look at mm. the kind of prices you're looking at. For just even something as simple as, I'm just going to say a quartz. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A quartz on something like this. A piece of metal on something like this. Yeah. Um, just a macrame section mm. in the centre of something like this. Yeah. A simple sterling silver star. Have a look at the kind of prices you, you could be paying. And then think about the fact that you don't have to pay those prices for the piece of jewellery that you're wearing to look incredible, to look like it's come off the red carpet, to look like a celebrity should be wearing it, and to make you feel like a million dollars. Yeah. Because that's the whole point of jewellery, isn't it? It's, it's something personal. I think jewellery is something very, very, very personal to each and every body. And so for you to be able to create something that has your mark on it, that is mm. inspired by you and that you can wear and people can then go, yeah. oh, that looks amazing. Where did you get that from? Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, I made it. Mm -hmm. That, I think, is, is priceless. Mm. Completely priceless. Yeah. This, this is just really beautiful. It's... And actually, I think it's probably even over and above the, the skull design or the, just the plain um, flat bead design or the heart. And I've got a heart on my, my slider bracelet, but I like this one. Yeah. I just love it. It's so clean and contemporary. It really, really is. Check and those baskets out. There's I'm, still some of those available for good, you. Oh, good, because I'm going to get one of those. Are you? I am. Are you? There is, just a heads up on the Swarovski one that we had a minute ago. There is one remaining of those. So if that is the one you would like, get your hands on it. I'll just show you which one that one was. That was this one. So one remaining of the Swarovski, if that is the route you would like to take. She says, holding that it completely That is a really nice one as gorgeous. well. Yeah. And there are three of the chains. 
So if the chain is something you were interested in but had it in your basket and haven't yet checked it out, it might be a chance for you now to do so before you miss out on it. So one left of the Swarovski, three left of the chain. Good luck. Good luck, good luck. Right, can I squeeze another one in? Brilliant. <gasps> Ooh! Well, it's very cold. <laughs> nice very graduation cold. though, isn't it? Mm. It's a necklace already. Yeah. Restrand it, add a clasp. Thank you very much. So you are of course looking at amethyst. Let me just pop this in the black background for a moment so I can actually show you the graduation. It's really big difference from the ones at the back to the one at the front and I just think that makes it a lot more distinctive because normally it's a lot more or a lot less yes. extreme. Yeah, yes, it's quite subtle normally isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Really quite That's subtle. Word. <laughs> so yeah. the reason the graduation is so dramatic is because the smallest stone is four millimetres and it goes right up to 12 millimetres. Now, normally you'd be looking at between two and four, wouldn't mm. you? Sort of two and four cent uh, difference. millimetres difference yeah. as it graduates upwards. So to have that huge jump. Yeah, I like it. That's an eight millimetre difference between the smallest and the largest. Which is why you get such an amazing effect. Mm. But you could just literally re-strand that, whether you want to pop it with silver, whether you want yeah. to pop it with gold, that's entirely up to you. £20.95 and you could have yourself a gorgeous necklace. If you didn't re-strand it, what would you do? Yeah, um, rosary linking would be good. Nice. Because that would make it longer and you could then take some off for a bracelet nice. and earrings. Nice. So you have got enough there. Um, knotting them in between, so re-strand and knot, like pearl knot in, mm -hmm. in between, would be good as well, because again, that would lengthen the strand. Mm -hmm. um, you could also use it, if you were wanting to, to stitch into fabrics and things like that, nice. or, or use um, in your soutache designs. Mm -hmm. Can so, I just point out? So versatile. £20.95. Mm. Yeah. That's not. Good. Your final price. Put my head on my hand then for a moment because I've seen, I've seen what's going to happen. Have you seen? I have no, I know what's going to happen. Yeah, I have a vision. The deja vu kicked in again. Nine ninety-five, so less than ten pounds. Less than ten pounds, and you have something so dramatic, so elegant, so beautiful. It's just gorgeous. And talk about elegance, it's stunning and beautiful. Right after the break, I have got the Tanzanite Star Buy for you. I think you're going to absolutely love it. So do not go anywhere. Sit back, relax, get yourself a brew, and we shall see you in two. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hello Jewelry Makers and welcome to Africa. Uh, Alex the Mineral Man here. Just a quick note to let you know that I will be with you on the morning of the 10th of December uh, with lots of new and exciting products. So hope to see you soon. Thank you very much. Our brand new Get Started with Jewellery Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewellery making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips or help with perfecting your jewellery designs, we're here to help. 
Head over to facebook.com slash getstartedwithjm where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewellery making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewellery making journey. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details and either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Tune into Jewelry Maker every morning at 8am for our breakfast club. We'll be bringing you low, low prices, last chance to buy and end of line stock. Make sure you're watching because once the deals are gone, they're gone. Check out your Wall of Fame entries in this hour and be in with a chance to win a £100 credit to your account. The Breakfast Club on Jewelry Maker. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the book now button. Fill in the required fields and then press continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Join us this Wednesday on Jewelry Maker for the gem setting day. We have got the most stunning deal of the day for you, Ethiopian nuggets. As well as that, we're going to be bringing to you the deluxe gem setting toolkit so that you can create unique pieces. We also have for you yellow sapphire, aquamarine, pink amethyst, and a selection of pearls and everything to suit your gem setting needs. As well as that, we've also gonna be joined by the incredible Hayley Kruger and the wonderful Fleur Hastings. So join us at Jewelry Maker this Wednesday for Gem Setting Day. Hey, welcome back. I'm getting a little bit distracted, so sorry about that. Um, but I think it's uh, forgivable. It's understandable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. So tanzanite, this generation's gemstone, it's been deemed as, hasn't it? And it's one of those mm -hmm. stones that, I mean, it was discovered in the 1960s, so it's not that long ago, really, is it? No. Not long ago at all. It's been 67. I was born in the, it's younger than me. Mm, Manuel de Souza. Yeah. Discovered it. He was, he was, I love, I love his story. The fact that he was so adamant, um, he was going to find a new gemstone. It's like, yep, there it is, there it is. Um, and <laughs> yeah, it took a lot longer than that. It wasn't just that simple. Um, but he did manage to find a, a new gemstone. And I'm very glad he did. I'm very glad he did. It comes from Tanzania, Tanzania which of course is the reason why it's called Tanzanite. And it's a former zoocyte but they didn't want to name it zoocyte because it doesn't sound quite as nice as tanzanite, it does it? No. So Tiffany's were the ones who actually named this gemstone and it was loved, really well received when it first was launched. And it is a one location gemstone, so it has not yet been discovered anywhere else. So when you think of emerald, mm. Emerald, you can find it in Colombia, you can find it in Brazil, you can find it in India, you can find it in Africa. There's lots, lots of different locations. Same with ruby, same with diamond. So a one location gemstone is very, very special. Very, very special. Because there's not going to be that much of it. If there's only one location, 
once it's gone, well, that's it, isn't it? It's gone. The earth isn't going to miraculously recreate it to, to produce lots and lots and lots and hundreds of years worth of mining. If one emerald mine runs out, we can go somewhere else. If a tanzanite mine runs out, that's it. So it was very much a stone that was well received and well loved and it was a lot of excitement around it. And nobody quite knew how long it was going to be. At one point, they were guesstimating 35 years of mining, possibly. It then dropped dramatically down to 15 years of mining. And then in a very short space of time, well, it's not exactly the easiest of gemstones to get your hands on, is it? There are more than one mine. So it's not that there is only one mine. That's not the case. There's a couple of mines and they're separated out into sections, but it's one location. Some of those mines have depleted. Some of those mines are still going. But we genuinely do not know how much longer we have left. It's such a unique set of circumstances that has come about geologically for this stone to actually exist. A stone that has a synthetic made. So diamonds, they're doing synthetic diamonds mm -hmm. now, aren't they? Yeah. Why is that? because diamonds are so popular, because diamonds are so much in demand and so desired that it is outstripping what we can, we can give. So we're creating synthetics to appease the market. Tanzanite, go into your high street jewellers. Have a look at the catalogues that sell jewellery and how many times do you see synthetic tanzanite? How many times do you see the man-made version. Why? Because it's so desirable, it's so in demand, it's so wanted, and we can't, we can't satisfy that demand. Mm -hmm. It's an incredible, incredible, incredible stone. Um, Emma's just saying, as staff, it's the one stone that she knows she needs to get her hands on. Mm -hmm. uh, Ryan would like to get some. I know people who Collect tanzanite for the sake of collecting tanzanite because we genuinely do not know how much longer we've got left. It's, it's one of those that mm. don't, don't just think that tomorrow you can get it. I've had this before where I've kind of gone with certain spinels that I really desperately want to get my hands on and certain gemstones that I desperately want to get my hands on. I kind of went, it's all right, I'll get it tomorrow. And then tomorrow comes and you go, it's all right, I'll get it tomorrow. And then by the time you get around to actually getting it, I should have got it last yeah. week. Yeah. I should Too have late. got, if only, if only. And I've had that happen to me on numerous occasions. So always, if you can get your hands on the stone that you fall in love with, and you have an opportunity to get it, don't let that opportunity pass you by because with gemstones, it's not like going into a shop and finding that last dress that you think, I love it, I want it, but I'll come back for it in a minute because mm. I might find something better elsewhere and you come back and it's not there and then you can actually get it ordered from a different shop. It doesn't yeah, work like true. that with gemstones. Mm. It just doesn't work like that. So I have got for you in my hand quite possibly the finest that I have seen in a strand in like forever. It feels mm -hmm. like forever that I have seen. Normally we see it in very pale colours, very pale saturation. Look at the intensity you're getting here. And also the brightness and vivacious nature of yes. that strand. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it, it's miraculous. Yeah. Now I've got a minute clock on the screen. I think you can already guess that we don't have a huge quantity of this. When we get a quality like this in the amount that we have on each of those strands, we were very lucky to source the amount that we did. It does mean that not everyone is going to be lucky enough to own it. So if there's ever a time for fastest fingers first, now is the time to do it. Uh, numbers at the bottom of the screen, 0800 655. Um, the website details are there as well, or the W's jewelrymaker.com, and there is the opportunity of getting it in the app. Now I'm going to let you know how many there are. Not 100. Not 50, not even 30. There are just 27 chances. That's all of them. 
and I cannot guarantee that we're ever going to get this opportunity again and I cannot guarantee that we're going to get the quality of this tanzanite again. Um, that's my fingers crossed for everyone who I know wants to get their hands on this right now. So one minute to give yourself a chance to um, pick up the phone, to dial the number, to uh, boot your laptop up, up get your tap, uh, tap? That's what my daughter calls it, a tap tap. <laughs> Get your tap tap ready, your tablet ready. <laughs> Want me tap tap, tap tap. Um, so get your tap tap ready, and then of course tap your app as well. So we've got one minute. Shall we? Shall we kick start it? Because I don't think I can hold the suspension anymore. It's, it's just it's too much. It's too much. So your time is now. I mean, you you can see just how incredibly beautiful this is. Yeah, definitely. I I absolutely love it and oh, look at the color on that recording mm -hmm. it it really shows up well on there that is that's perfect isn't it that's exactly what you want this is again this is not the level or grading of tanzanite that i would expect on a strand no this is the kind of of depth of color and as you mentioned vivacious uh, intensity of color that i would expect mm. to have gone into ready-made jewellery yeah into gold into yeah. silver yeah i wouldn't have expected it to be stranded like this ready for us to be able to use mm. that's something quite magical four seconds remaining and that's it are you ready information is about to hit your screen now you can start dialing now you can start checking those baskets out and there is just 27 of these in the world for you today. 26 chances now, the first one's gone. 25, 24 chances now, and that is it. 20 carats of tanzanite of such an amazing, and we haven't put a grading in color on this, but I mean, you take a look no. at this, we've got 22 chances left. That's it, 22 chances. Um, size wise, we've got two by one um, to three by two millimeters. It's a 16 centimeter strand, but it goes on and on and There's on. There's a lot and on, on. There. there really is. Mm. There really seriously is. I mean, if you, you are ever gonna get yourself one tanzanite strand, make it this one. Make it this one. Now, we are already down to 20. We are already down to 20 chances. That's not including anyone who's popped it in their basket and still has it in their basket mm. without checking it out. If you have checked out, it's yours, by the way, my lovely. It is, it is absolutely yours. Um, you've got it. Unless you change your mind, that is going to be coming home to you before Christmas. That's so oh, exciting. It is, isn't it? Mm. And that's the thing, treat yourself. Yeah. How often do you get a chance to treat yourself? And it's Christmas. I'm, I'm quite happy to say, buy yourself a gift for Christmas. Yeah. Definitely. Appreciate yourself. Well, you tend to get sort of left to the the bottom of the list, don't you, really? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it, it's it's a nice thing to do every now and again, well, just to yeah. remember that you're special as well. Well, appreciate mm -hmm. yourself, because, yeah. I mean, how many things do you do for other people? How many times do you sacrifice your me time mm -hmm. or, the mo or the things that you love or you give up your last Rolo or you give up <laughs> your last ice cream or you have to ferry such and such a body down the road yeah. in the car to such and such a place and, oh, can you just do this and, oh, can you just do mm -hmm. it and would you fetch that and blah, blah, blah. And these are the things that constantly go on and we just yeah. don't get a chance to treat ourselves. So, actually, treat yourself. Yeah. Appreciate you for a change. I need to take that advice. Me too. I yeah. was just sitting here thinking. Mm. Yeah, I need to take that need advice. Need to stop yeah. saying yes all the time. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. When was the last time you had an afternoon where you could just sit and lozzock in the bath? No. Until the water goes cold. cold. You have to empty a bit out uh, and yeah. refill. Yeah. yeah. When was the last time you did that? It's got to be at least four or five years ago. Treat yourself to something like this then. Mm. £59.95. It is so good to see that quality at that price point. I'm yeah. loving it. Almost half Cheers. the stock has now been allocated. Almost half the stock is now gone. And that is not your price! Oh. I thought that was. No, that is not your price. Okay, so we are actually going to do something unprecedented right now. We're going to take that under £50. We are going to take that under £50. So every single time you've been longing for that bath to just go cold and you've been sitting in it for ages, 
Every time you sacrifice the last favourite chocolate, every time you've ferried Auntie Maud down the road or you've, you've done something for somebody else, just think of that when we take the price point off and think, yeah, do you know what? I'm worth it. Mm. We've got one minute. We've got one minute. If you are in love with Tanzanite and you're umming and ahhing about it, I'm going to just let you know right now. Can we pop the, we'll pop the clock on? Okay, let you know right now. Even on a Tanzanite, even on something as luxurious as this, as incredible as this, as limited as this, you still have a 30-day money-back guarantee. Mm. You still can get this home, look at it and decide, actually, I want a strand of emeralds. Mm. Actually, uh, blue's not my colour. You send it back, get a full refund, just make sure it's in the original condition, in the, the original packaging. Do not cut it up, of course, um, and you can get a full refund. If you're giving this as a gift, that 30-day money-back guarantee means that you can gift it on Christmas Day mm. and still have time to send it back if the person you're gifting it to does not like it, providing it's just as the strand. If you've made it into jewellery, then you can't send it back. But if you've gifted it as a strand, yeah. you can still send it back. That's the beauty of having the 30-day money-back guarantee. The thing I've got to say right now, though, is half the stock has gone. Half the stock has now gone. And nobody is paying £59.95. That is £20, sorry, £20 less than what the original price point is. So that's £20 back in your pocket because everyone who's on that line right now, whether you came in at the start or you're coming in now, is just going to pay £39.95. That's it. Not £59.95, £39.95. That's really good for that. Amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, it is. Debbie, you've got it, my lovely. You've absolutely got it, and it's going to be winging its way to you in time for Christmas. Even better, in time for Christmas. Margaret, huge, huge congratulations to you as well. A collector in London. You're going to love it. You're going to absolutely adore it. And look at those colours. Look at the beauty you're getting here. Are you going to pop it with a slider bracelet? In fact, the gold, rose yeah. gold colour rose slider gold. bracelet. I think Perfect. that's perfection. It is because it will really bring out the purples yeah. and the pinkier and the pink. tones. Yeah. yeah. You're going to really get a beautiful quality there. Simple yeah. elegance. We're down to single figures. Oxfordshire, Bedfordshire, Essex, Buckinghamshire. Check those baskets out, my loves. The check them out over there. Is it garnet on the desk? Oh, yes, it is. Would look fab. Ooh, so this yes. garnet is one of the purplest of garnets I've ever bought to you. I mean, I'm loving the quality of the gemstones today. I feel yeah. like I'm in my element right now. Really good. Um, but this purple garnet is coming up as a star bite at the end of the hour. Yes, it would go perfectly yeah. with the tanzanite. I like those two together. Mm -hmm. mm. Coming up very, very <laughs> soon. Hate to say it, but limited on that as well. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Got a limited showcase tonight, my love. But then when you look at the gemstones that we've had and the quality that we've had, mm -hmm. you'd expect that really, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, no, you, you're absolutely right on that one. I mean, you're probably agreeing mm. the, the intensity of the colours that we're seeing. Mm. These are not wishy-washy stones that we're bringing to you. These no. are intense, they're impactful, they are desirable, they are larger than life. You've got so much from them that, yeah, you would be expecting to, to pay yeah. a lot yeah, and you you're would. not. That's the beauty of it, you're absolutely not. Which is why I've even got multi-buyers on this one. Oh, well, I mean, when you look at that price for that strand, if you can afford to get more, then it just makes sense. Do you know what I would probably do? I'd get two, I'd mm. use one to make and yeah. sell, yeah. or and gift, keep, just keep and the keep other. one for myself, yeah. 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 Oh, I love this. Absolutely love it. Huge congratulations to everyone who's managed to get a hold of it and good luck if you haven't already done so because it's just, it's one of those opportunities not to be missed. Oh. You don't want to put that down. I really do don't. You? It's sort of attached really to you now. Mm. <laughs> I'll leave that there with you. <laughs> it is absolutely glorious. Mm. It's been a long time since I've seen a strand like this. Very long time. Mm. 
And there's still a few in baskets. We are in single figures, but there is still that chance for you to get it. So don't think because we've gone to single figures and you've not yet checked out that you won't. I mean, you, you're not going to lose anything, are you? You're not paying to have it in your basket. If you check out and you get it, bonus. If you check out and you don't, then it's not going to be great. You're not going to... It's up to you. Grab it while you can. If you're on the phone lines, you're not paying for the phone call either. So it's always a good idea to just, in fact, ooh, saying that, if it is in your basket and you're not yet checked out and you're thinking, I don't know if I will or not, you might come back to it later and find it's not there because a phone bidder has actually got it. I've it's not, done that before. Yeah. As in, I've wanted something so badly, I've phoned up and asked if it's still available, even if it says sold out on the website. I know. Just try it, and then, yeah. So, um, if you're on the phone, if you're, if you're wanting to ring in and I you think it. it's not there, give them a ring, because anybody who has mm. it in their basket and hasn't checked out, technically it's still available. Fair game, I say. Yeah, no, in fairness, if, if it's <laughs> going to be popped in the basket and you're not checking it out, then that's it. It's, it's I still do feel there. guilty when I do it, but it's been done to me as well. Oh, it's been I've done left, to me loads of I've times. I've left stuff in my basket and then come back and it's sold out. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think the worst one for me was the Buddha head because Katie Parker... <gasps> Guest design of Katie Parker messaged me to say it's coming on, it's coming on. Get it in your basket, and I popped it in my basket, and my daughter distracted me, and it can't have been more than five minutes, and I came back and it had gone. Mm. <laughs> oh, <was> so annoyed! <laughs> she is cute though. She's amazing. <laughs> she's amazing. She's hilarious at the moment. Proper hilarious. We, we, she's on Twinsy Wincy Spider quite a lot. That's a favourite at the moment. Twinkle, twinkle. So we've got lots of singing. Oh, lots of, yeah. And Hand dinosaurs. exercises. Twinkle, twinkle. And tap, tap. Mummy, tap, tap. Right, what shall I bring you next then? Huh? Oh, it's the kids. Is that the time already? <laughs> we were just ignoring everyone then, well, we? we totally did. Yeah, we totally did. Yeah. Right, well, it is the last hour, you're right. I thought we got another hour left. <laughs> Lee's like, no, 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 another hour left, no. Um, it is kit time. Shockingly, it has gone that quickly. Um, so what we've got is the Radiant Ruby. It's a ruby oval cabochon, which I think you can see beautifully displayed in the necklace. What was the inspiration for the necklace, my love? Um, I just wanted to enjoy the patterns and swirls and things of it. make Just make something quite, I suppose, flamboyant in a way. Because mm. it's a big ruby. Because I'm, I'm seeing influences of Rome. Ancient, Are you? Ancient Rome, yeah. Oh. Clearly that wasn't an inspiration then. It wasn't. But. But, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So she was inspired by ancient... It does, no, to me, looking at that, that's, I, I can imagine like, um, mosaics and, and yeah. stuff on the floor. Hmm. Oh, I can see well, that. Not mosaics on the floor. I was okay, thinking no. more of chariot racing <laughs> and the excitement and togas and, you know, that. that sort of thing. Yeah. That's the kind of feel, I think, the vibe I'm getting from. I'm really loving it. And it's... Thanks. I did enjoy it. Is that plaited? Have you plaited it? Or is it just uh, literally the seed no. beads that are created? Oh, the seed beads. Uh, Which yeah, you do get be. with the kit. So, I mean, what do you actually get with the kit? Mm. You are getting, of course, you're going to get wire. So you're going to get champagne gold coloured silver plated copper wire 10 metres in the 0 0.8. And you're also going to get 10 metres in the 0 0.4 as well. So you've got those two. 0 0.8 and 0 0.4, is that a good combination to work with? It is. It's actually... Um, one of my favourites because you can um, combine the 0 0.8 and make it chunkier and then you've got your weaving wire with the 0 0.4. Brilliant. On top of that, you're not just going to get the, um, the spools of your wire, you're also going to get galvanised gold Miyuki seed beads in Ato. So that's one of the bigger sizes, isn't yes. it, Ato? Yes, yeah. And on top of that, you're then going to get 14 carats of ruby in an oval cab. 
18 by 14. Now, can, I don't have the information on the screen, but is this a natural cab? Because it looks like it. It is completely <laughs> and utterly natural. Oh, I've got almost like a cat's eye going Do on in this one. You? May I see? <coughs> Sorry. Mm. Don't apologise. Oh, yeah. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is there. I definitely saw it in there. How cool is that? There, there's a little section here, which yeah. is, and this is what I love about, oh yeah, yeah. This must have been a huge piece when it started off. Mm. So what you're getting here, what you're actually seeing, the cat's eye effect has been created by the growth markings. So um, they tend to grow in a tabular formation. So a little short and dumpy whereas your sapphires tend to be long and like a barrel. It's a little short and dumpy, and they often grow in almost like a hexagon effect. So you often see triangles or hexagon shapes throughout natural ruby, and that's the growth markings. Oh, OK. That's the growth, which that's is fantastic. So what you're getting here is a section of that growth marking, which is why I said it must have been a huge piece when it started oh, off. Because it's just on the edge, isn't it? Yes, yeah. Mm. So that would have been one of the central points. It is magical, and this is what I love about it. You get something so dramatic, and it's very different to a, um, a clear ruby. There's something so much more satisfying, I think, about yeah. a ruby like this, because you can imagine it just being pulled out of the ground, can't you? Or, or imagine walking along a river and just seeing it glinting in the sunlight, and you bend over and pick it out of the, the ground. Out of the river bed, sorry. Just, it's, ma it's, it's completely magical. Mm. So you're getting that incredible ruby. It's 14 mm -hmm. carats, over 14 carats. In fact, 14, uh, no, 14 carats. It's 14 carats in weight. Size-wise, it's huge. It's 18 by 14 millimeters. And it's just, oh my goodness me. Okay, so I thought the 34 pounds 95 oh, wow. was the price. You can <laughs> be paying that for the ruby on its own. <laughs> oh, I'm impressed by that price. Under £20, and you're getting seed beads, you're getting wire, and you're getting the ruby. You could quite easily be paying that for the ruby on its own. You really could. That's amazing. It is. Yeah, it is. Really, really amazing. So dial in as soon as you can on this one. Again, mm -hmm. everything in this show tonight has been quite limited, which has been a shame, hasn't it, really? It but has. Kind of exciting at the same time. That's nice, it's really simple. Is that wire that you've used or is it beading thread oh, for the bracelet? Uh, it's beading thread for the bracelet. Yeah. And oh, then like the earrings are wire. And that, I love doing that with the head pins. Just, I mean, I've popped one of the, the beads on there, but just having a simple head pin drop and the bead just, it sort of emphasizes the, the end of the, the head pin, but it's really um, lovely. Yeah, I like really those. lovely. So, what would you like to demo for um, us? I was going to show you how I started off with the pendant. Yeah. I mean, it's it's quite free form. So, however the wire takes you is where where you go with it, really. Mm -hmm. um, but just to start off to capture the the um, the ruby without swamping it with your wire work. So what I did was take three lengths of your 0 0.8 and um, let's get rid of my flush cutters. So um, I actually had, they were a little bit longer than this. So this is probably about half a metre just over. Um, so they were slightly more, but if you're more comfortable working with shorter lengths, then that's fine, because you can add. So for two of them, just keep them um, as they are. And then the third one, just use your mandrel and create a loop in the center of your wire. So that is, um, what fits over at the bottom of the, the ruby there. So to start off, if 
I move that out of the way for a second. What I did was I, I just took a length of your um, 0.4. So wrap around the, um, go to the center of your 0.4 and then just wrap around a few times, so probably about three or four times, just to keep that circle together. And then I did a very small section of wrapping to hold all of those wires together. My voice is going to go, isn't it? <laughs> I think mine is I'm as well. Be, oh, I think there's some, yeah. Something in the air. Something in the air. Yeah. So we're going to connect the wires together and just wrap around the first two to hold them together and then over and coming through between the one in the middle and the one right on the outside edge and then come back over the top and just wrap a couple of times on that side and then what I did was flip it round and then work back this way so this is the wire come in from where we joined the, the circle section together. So what I'm going to do is come over the top of that wire around. Now, when I was doing this initially, I was thinking, oh, I need to be really neat on this section because um, I don't like scruffy wire work that isn't meant to be scruffy. So if it's accidentally scruffy, it irritates me. So I needed it to be nice and neat. But because you're working around on top of it, I don't think you need to worry too much at that stage. All you're trying to do is hold those wires together and make sure they're secure. So we've got three wires held together there. And then if you take another length of 0.4, What we're going to do is then bring two of those wires, so the first two sort of in that level. I'm going to bring that around and behind the ruby, and the same on the other side, bring it round and up behind the ruby. And this is a really nice size actually to work with because it's, um, it's not too small. Quite often we'll get cabochons um, in sort of the high end gemstones that are a lot smaller, but this is a lovely size. So, and you can create something with quite a lot of um, impact, but it's not too fiddly. So it's not too difficult to hold in position. I'm just connecting those wires at the top of the, the ruby. So if I bring, let me just flip this one in there. So you can see how they come up the top there. So they've come from the bottom here where that circle is on the outside and just looping up to the top and connected. But we're going to be covering that with lots of... Um, swirls and things later on. So I'll pop that over there out of the way. So you've you've got that there and then what you need to do is just if you bring those two wires out it will stop this wrapping from sliding up and getting just a little bit I don't know, a little bit crazy. So then the next two wires, if you bring those up to the top again, like that, and then capture them in the same way, you've basically sandwiched your ruby 
in position. And then you can just start to build the layers. So although it's not in there totally secure at the moment, it's, um, it's almost like tacking a, a sewing pattern. Oh, um, yeah. So you, you've sort of tacked it into position and then you can come back and, and make sure it's secure by wrapping over the top. So my two pieces of 0.4 are then just going to wrap around and connect those other two wires. And then these wires at the top then are going to be worked together to create swirls and loops. So just make sure everything's pinched in nice and tight at the top. Um, so it will still come out if you sort of are not overly um, careful, but you can then start to work the patterns. So what I did was I wrapped some of the 0.4 around these wires to start creating texture. I won't do all of that now because it will be boring to sit and watch me doing that, but just um, if you just create texture and build up the layers like that, then it just adds, adds a little bit of interest. So wrap that around. And start to create some swirls and loops around your gemstone. So if I now bring this wire across on the side, you can see that's then basically locking that gemstone uh, into the cage so it can't come through that way. So I'm just going to then fix that with the 0.4 there. And I'm not going to be too precious about it being super neat as long as it's doing the job because we'll wrap over the top and create the patterns after. And then on this side, you've got a couple of options. Either you can bring the, um, the wire that you've got down here and bring that up in exactly the same way, or you can start to work with these um, tails up this end and bring that down. So if you do that, bring two of those down and then create a swirl. Actually, let's bring three. Let's go for it. <laughs> so just swirl that around. And the thing I think that you need to remember when you're doing something like this is um, you don't need to just work in one direction. Keep turning your, your piece as you're working and you'll see different shapes and different um, sections that you might want to fill. And so just build up the swirls and the layers. And all I've done is once I'd got sort of the main body in of where I wanted the swirls to sit was to then attach um, or sorry, feed on some of the seed beads onto the wire and then feed it through. So just do it in sections and build that up. So these on here are all on the wire and then you've got the, um, the others that are coming up around the neckline on your beading thread. So just attach those um, in sections. So do one and one. And if you hang it then onto a bust and you can see how long the other sections need to be to build up on that second side. So it's just a really nice um, free form pendant or necklace um, that just builds up really organically. Mm. But 
if you start off so that you've got that ruby fixed, then you can actually relax and you're not having to think about trying to um, to keep it in position all the time. Yeah, because that would be quite fiddly. Then, yeah, it? yeah. So it, it can get quite stressful if you if mm. you, the cabochon's popping out all the time. But doing it like that and building the cage and then almost covering up the cage yeah, is, really nice is a, doing it. a nice way to do it, yeah. yeah. Thank you very much for that. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you. And now, there are still some of the kits available, so please make sure you're checking your baskets out on those ones. Now, though, it is time for our star It's always nice to have a star by when it's a garnet. Uh, garnet, of course, is January's birthstone. And January is mm. not that far away, as we already figured out. It's 15 days, two hours? It's got to be, has not it? 15 days, two hours, and 22 no. minutes. That's till Christmas. Till so Christmas, we, we yeah. We have to add another week for January. No, I know, I know, but we're saying till Christmas, it's ah. only 15 days, so it's not that far, it's a week after that. <laughs> to oh. January! Um, so yeah, we, we are on the countdown, aren't we? It's not that far away. So if you have got friends or your family or you are born in January, this is gonna be a great birthstone for you. The thing that I love about this particular one, and I think you will as well, just take a look at how purple mm. this is. It's impressive. Now, how many times have we seen purple garnet and it's not actually been purple, it's been more red? Yeah. With a purple hue? That's what you expect. That's what I would have expected when you said purple garnet. I would have expected a rhodolite garnet which would have had reds with a very dramatic, almost a flash of purple, but not purple, 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 purple. Mm -hmm. Red and purple, purple, but no, this is purple, 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 isn't it? It is, definitely. It is certainly purple, 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 purple. That's the kind of purple I used to have on my bedroom wall. <laughs> really dark, really rich, really Lovely. sumptuous. In fact, it's just, it's really, look when you can see there. That, that is that. amazing. It's gorgeous. Yeah. I used to um, sell rose like on it a lot, but it was always the red with a bit of purple to it. It was never this kind of intensity of purple. When you see a purple like this, goodness me. You can imagine this being a spinel. That's what I thought when I said mm -hmm. about it being on the desk. I was thinking, or is it a spinel? Yeah, because that's the kind mm. of purple you'd expect to see in a purple spinel. Yeah. Um, can I just point out there were only 20 of these available. I did say it was quite limited, but I didn't say how limited it was. 20, that's all we have. Two of them have already been allocated. So, huge congratulations to the two of you who've managed to get a hold of it. But if you want to get a real, rich, sumptuous, amazing, natural purple garnet. Yeah, yes. that's amazing. Also, when you think of purple garnet, when you think of rhodolite garnet, which is the, the average purple garnet, I say average, it's not average at all, you expect it to be from India, don't you? Mm. This is not from India. This is from Tanzania. Oh. This is from Tanzania, and you can see the difference instantly because that purple is so overwhelming, so powerful, so dramatic. In fact, looking at it on the screen right now, that's the kind of purple you, you would expect to see in a Zambian. Amethyst. Am amethyst, yes. So, yeah. can I just point out? That's amazing. There is a price on the screen. That is not your price. It is so good. The quality is so good. The colour is so deep and rich in the saturation. I'd be quite happy to pay £81.96. However, Ross has assured me that there's going to be a dramatic, dramatic <laughs> amount taken off that. We are about to take 63%. Good grief off the price you're seeing on the screen right now. 63%. I only started off with 20 of these. It's a limited edition, exclusive deal. Ooh. Today, the 20 of you who are lucky enough to get a hold of this are getting it for just 29.95 and it's completely and utterly natural. 
no treatment to this whatsoever, no heat treatment, nothing, nothing. It is a gorgeous garnet in every single right. If you're born in January, please get it mm. just for the sake of it. It is one of the most beautiful varieties of your birthstone there is. That it's is magical gorgeous, yeah. in every way. There's nothing quite like it. I mean, look at those purples. I would have expected this was, would have been a spinel, but no, this is garnet. Mm. This is gorgeous, luxurious, rich, wow. stunning garnet. Isn't that magical? Superb colour. It's just, it's incredible. I was really nervous about saying garnet. Were you? Yeah, because I thought it was garnet, but you because don't normally of get that, that yeah. because of the depth of colour and and yeah, I was mm. I was thinking, questioning myself. You know when you 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 will always have your that. instinct, yeah. and yeah. then you're questioning, is it? Yeah, you'll always because, have that when you're looking at gemstones yeah. because there's always that. One yeah. that just shocks Maybe. you, yeah, yeah, and surprises you, and that's the beauty of it. That's and I think this is definitely a shocking and surprising awesome. piece. Just going along those lines, if you're looking at it, going, "Oh, is it? Is it going it? Get the authenticity card. Yeah, get the author. It's twenty-five pence. Twenty-five pence, and you can have a little card which has the information that you require. So if somebody turns around to you when you're making it to sell, maybe making a bracelet or a ring, and they say that's not going it, you can mm. go, "No, oh, actually, yes, it is." Yeah. Yes, it is. A little That's bit of kudos superb. there. Yeah. If you wanted to buy for the first time, please, it would be amazing to welcome you to the family. 0800 644 655 is the number to be dialing. Talk to the call centre. They're extremely friendly, lovely bunch of people, very knowledgeable as well. There's quite a few GIAs um, in our call centre team. So if you have any questions about gemstones, they will be able to help you out. And if they don't know the answer, they will come to one of us and find out yes. for you. They're very good like that. Very, very good. If you prefer not to talk to somebody, the option is the website or the app so there are many ways in which you can actually get involved and actually purchase for the first time also if you are a first time buyer you will get a gift from us a little gift it's always nice to have a gift That's especially at this time of the year um, two strands of gemstones don't know what they're going to be but two strands of gemstones and a dvd so huge congratulations to everyone again who managed to get that did you love the ruby in the kit Would you? I mean, it's, it's a different one, but it's still a ruby. It's still a cap. It's still an oval. Ah, it would work really well with that. Mm. It would. It's, yeah, it's nice. I mean, maybe you've already got seed beads in your collection. Maybe you've already got wire in your collection. Maybe you just wanted the ruby. This would work perfectly. It's a slightly different size. I believe the other one was 18 by 14, wasn't it? Yeah, this one is, is 17 by 12. So it is slightly smaller, but it would still work if you mm. wanted to follow the instructions that um, Deb, I was going to say Deborah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's all right. I answered to that. Debbie. I don't answer Debs. to that. <laughs> de, de Bibi, De Bruges. I answer to that. De Bruges. Um, so if you want to follow the instructions that De Bruges gave you <laughs> earlier for the kit <laughs> with stuff that you have in your stock, get a hold of this right yeah. now because at £21.95, that's not your final price. No way, Jose. £7.95. Mm. It is magical because you are getting 12 whole carrots. 12 whole carrots. You can see those gorgeous natural inclusions. Can you see the growth mm. markings on there? So again, it's a great one if you love your gemstones and want to know more about more of the natural formations of gemstones. It's incredible. Look at the movement of light over the surface. Look how it reflects the light box beautifully. Yeah, yeah it does. That's how good the luster is on this. It's a natural ruby as well. Just double checking. There's no fissure filling to this, is there? Hello. Mm -hmm. No, completely natural. Completely natural, just like the one in the kit. Yeah, it would be a great addition to the kit. Yeah, it really would. That, yeah. Add it to your order. You're only paying one PMP, no matter how many times you order throughout the day, as long as it's between 12 midnight and 12 midnight. So you've got two hours and 15 mm -hmm. minutes remaining. So add it to your order. And there are 
15 days, two hours <laughs> and 15 minutes, so many seconds until Christmas Day. Now, the next thing I'm going to bring to you, which one was it? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, tubes. 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 That's a lot of sapphire. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Great for earrings, I think. Yeah, I that's a huge amount of sapphire. Okay, so when we bring you sapphire, what do you often see? Rondelles? Yeah, rounds? They're not as big as this, are they? No, they are sizable, aren't they? Well, the biggest one is nine by five mil. These are, these are natural mm. as well, completely natural from Madagascar. 50 whole carrots. You are getting the spaces in between as well. 18 centimetres, but I mean, look at, look at the biggest one. Pendant on its own? Yeah, definitely ring. it could be, yeah. In fact, the smallest one could be a ring quite easily. Yeah. So you have got a big, 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 big quantity of, of uh, sapphire here. Beautiful tubes would make earrings beautifully. Would go very, very nicely actually with the slider bracelets that we had earlier on. Yes, it would. The colour mm. of the slider bracelet would work perfectly with the blue. What would you do with a shape like this? Like, I'd like to be stranded actually. I think, yeah, just as it is. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and pop a chain going Good around luck, the back yeah. of the neckline. Um, but I think earrings would be great. You know, um, just like one gemstone on a head, head pin and just keep the length of the head pin. And um, I think that would just look really elegant mm -hmm. because, because of the cylinder shape and the fact that, um, yeah, they're elongated shapes. Yeah. It's just going to, to look really elegant when you use yes. them in that way. But um, a ring would be fab, and you could actually do it so it's like um, one of those little fidget rings that you oh, can so play you can with, so it. it actually spins, yeah. I'm just wondering what one of these would look like on the slider bracelet, or even three. Three would be nice, yeah. Three would be very nice, wouldn't they? Yeah. Love that look. Yeah. Hold those lines, my darlings. Mm -hmm. Hold those lines. Oh, love it. Ooh. Oh, they're nice. Again, yes. these make really cool earrings because they're drilled. Um, normally, you would expect them to drill from top to bottom mm -hmm. um, well, side to on side, the long they? Yeah. side, but yeah. they're, they're across the shorter side. So, so what difference does that make when you're working with them then? Well, when, when, if you put these on a head pin, it looks like it's an east-west setting right. rather than um, so you can stack a north, them a little. South, um, south. You could stack them. Um, if you wanted to use these as rings, they'd be really easy to use yes. because you've got the wire coming through the right in the right here. direction. Yeah. Um, and then obviously it sits along the finger. So Again, it's, it's sapphire. And again, it's completely mm. natural. Really from lovely Madagascar. these. And the, the way the drill hole has been done, yeah. But for, if you wanted to just re-strand and make a bracelet with it or a necklace yeah. section. I think bracelet would be fantastic would, yeah. because of the way they're all lined up. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It, it does have that kind of, well, it would lend itself perfectly to it, mm. wouldn't it? Yeah, and because they're flatter, it sits nice and close to the wrist, so it's easy to wear as well. Yeah, and at £34.95 for a huge 75 carats. Wow. 75 carats of natural sapphire. How much does that work out per carat then, Ross? 46 pence a carat. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. That's, that's silly. Mm -hmm. That is, yeah. That's completely and utterly silly. Ludicrous almost. No, the depth of the colour as well is really quite remarkable. It is, yeah. I am thinking of bringing the tanzanite in and seeing the contrast between the two because mm. you've got the brightness of the tanzanite and then you've got that 
matte effect. The neon appetite would look oh, nice with those as well. Right. I'm going to bring you the information for the tanzanite in a second. I'll just show you the, mm. the contrast between the sapphire and the, the appetite. There you go. It's good, mm. isn't it? Okay, so the tanzanite. Very excited about the tanzanite. Can't believe we've actually still got some of these available. When was the last time you saw a tanzanite this deeply saturated with this gorgeous uniformity of colour on one strand? We took a third off the price point to bring it to you as low as 39.95 and you're looking at a huge 20 carats. There's still quite a few actually sat in baskets. I've got Lorraine. Check it out, my lovely. Check it out. You'll get it in time for Christmas. You will. Um, Carol, hello. Hello, hello. If you check yours out, you'll get yours before Christmas as well. And the same to you, Anna. So if you can check out now, please do so. If you're leaving it for a moment and thinking, I'll come back a little bit later, just be aware that it might not be there. We only started off with a small quantity of these and I had quite a few multi-buyers. In fact, Kent got two. Buckinghamshire got two as well. So a collector in Buckinghamshire and Debbie in Kent. Both of you guys got two. I don't blame you. No. I'll be going for two as well. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's lovely. I'm going to try and squeeze one more in now. I'm just going to try and squeeze one more in before we finish. Ooh. This is nice. Again, it's ruby. Trillions. If you wonder what a trillion is, it's just another name for triangle. <laughs> That's it. Fancy way of saying triangle. Um, you're getting about seven of them. I'll say seven, oh, sorry, seven to ten mil in size. You're getting more than seven. You're getting nine, in fact. It works out at £1.66 per ruby. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shape to them. Nice depth on them yeah. as well. Yeah, I just like... Mm. It's, it's unusual to actually get that shape. Now, um, yeah. our biggest seller today is definitely going to be this, which is 50 carats of Appetite. I think you can agree it's, it's the neon colour that you're getting. Mm -hmm. um, it went for a ridiculously low price, £5.95. Mm -hmm. I started off with 100 of them. Now, it had been seen before. We had bought a large quantity originally of 200 and it sold out. Um, we weren't ever able to get that many back in stock, but we were successful enough to get 100. And now, how, how much of the stock? 70%. 70 of percent? 70 of percent? 70 percent of the stock has now gone. 70% of the stock has gone. As you can understand, there's going to be people who multi-buy on this. There's going to be lots of multi-buyers on it. So if you do want to get your hands on it, you need to do it as quickly as possible. Now, mm. I want to say a huge, 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 huge thank you to you, Debbie Rouge. It's been lovely to see you. It's been lovely to see you as well. I bet you thought I was going to say Debbie then, didn't you? Debbie Rouge. No, you're not mean like Leah. No. <laughs> I can be, I can be. So what are you back with us? Tomorrow for a mid show. I know. I, might, so I might just sleep under the desk. I'll do it. It's nice and comfy under there. Yeah. 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 So, what do you have in store? Um, we've got some awesome seed beads and we've got, yeah, seed beads, threads, colour, lots of colour. Colour, colour, colour. So thank you very much for joining us today. Check your baskets out and don't go anywhere if you're watching the repeat because in a few moments time, we're going to have some more amazing deals and treats coming up for you as well. So I will see you very, very soon. This lady will see you tomorrow or in a few in hours. A few, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love to you. Mwah. Jewelry makers and welcome to Africa. 
Uh, Alex the Mineral Man here. Just a quick note to let you know that I will be with you on the morning of the 10th of December uh, with lots of new and exciting products. So hope to see you soon. Thank you very much. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the Book Now button, fill in the required fields, and then press Continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewellery making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. If you'd like more information on up and coming shows, you can view the programme guide on our website. Join us this Wednesday on Jewelry Maker for the Gem Setting Day. We have got the most stunning deal of the day for you, Ethiopian Nuggets. As well as that, we're going to be bringing to you the Deluxe Gem Setting Toolkit so that you can create unique pieces. We also have for you Yellow Sapphire, Aquamarine, Pink Amethyst, and a selection of pearls and everything to suit your gem setting needs. As well as that, we've also going to be joined by the incredible Hayley Kruger and the wonderful Fleur Hastings. So join us at Jewelry Maker this Wednesday for Gem Setting Day. Join us this Wednesday on Jewelry Maker for the Gem Setting Day. We have got the most stunning deal of the day for you, Ethiopian Nuggets. As well as that, we're going to be bringing to you the Deluxe Gem Setting Toolkit so that you can create unique pieces. We also have for you Yellow Sapphire, Aquamarine, Pink Amethyst, and a selection of pearls and everything to suit your gem setting needs. As well as that, we've also going to be joined by the incredible Hayley Kruger and the wonderful Fleur Hastings. So join us at Jewelry Maker this Wednesday for Gem Setting Day. You can watch our Jewelry Maker show every day on our website by clicking the 